I'm interrupting this program with some more breaking news. That's right. That's right. Return of the Ghetto Legends. We're going out west. January 7th, and guess where the show is? At the LA Forum. Yep, we're right there. I'm throwing up some powder like LeBron. It's going crazy. January 7th. Go to the website and get the tickets. Or, or go to the app. You don't got the app. You don't want to come to this show. But January 7th, we in LA. Shit. <laughs> get the tickets. Me, Chico, DC. Still ain't found me no new opener yet, though. Still ain't found me no new opener. Send me those clips. January 7th, Return of the Ghetto Legends. Merry Christmas. I get what you. Yeah, I'm gonna be in court. Yeah, I gotta be fucked up. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna make my court date. That's the look right there, DC. <laughs> it wasn't me. No, that ain't it. Do what he said before that. Hold on, here you go. Go ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at the crib. Go ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Like oh, Ricky told Trey and boys in the hood. Hey, go ahead and drop me out. <laughs> Yo, he pulled his ass off, too. He pulled his ass off. Yo, dog. Let me out. Let me out. Fuck the bullshit. Hey, Ricky. Yeah. Hey, Ricky. 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 Hey,
you get 1200 <laughs> Swear to God. And I was Real like, money. that ain't no money. That ain't shit, nigga. And I've been watching all this shit and forgot what I was supposed to been doing, which was taxes. By the time I remembered, the office was closed, so I'm lacking. So I got to pay in it extra dividends and penalties and extra fees. Mm-hmm. And shit, I'm blowing trees. So go on ahead and drop me off. Yeah. Dang. Drop me by the crib. The interest ain't no hold on. It ain't, though. Drop him off. Yeah. You say two people you gonna pay. And I want to hear about it. And the IRS. Drop me off. Come on. Matter of fact, you can have my car. You drop me off. Shit, I can't wait to get that rich. You trying to be rich. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, he can have that car. Hold up, little buddy. Cause this shit stolen. <laughs> you get caught then, you don't need no one. <laughs> for real. My name ain't John John, but tonight is the Antoine, for real. You did, okay? Cause you might tell, and I know well. But he better not do that, cause I know where he stay. And you know, I know where he lay. But get what? Hold up. <laughs> Man, I'm back up in the drop him off. Hey, but to answer your question, hell no, I ain't trying to be just rich, man. I'm trying to be way, way, way paid rich. I'm trying to be so fucking paid that I make rich look sick. I'm, I'm talking trying to about so much money that I don't even like niggas. Mm. I'm talking way more money than them white niggas. Mm. Hey, I know that shit sound crazy, but I want some long ass paper like an old white lady. Mm. Hey, man, I tell y'all Mitch the truth. Won't tell mm-hmm. no tell. Cause I want my box to look like I. I got a BBL. I'm talking about so many stacks that when I reach off in it, I fuck around and drop five just for going off in it. Like, I'm gonna ooh. tell you something nah, I that, that bitch a lot of people won't say. I'm trying to have my money like, hey. Hey. That too much? Stop. Hey. I know some nigga that are raw. Stop. Hey. So much money that it's hard for me to sit. Uh-huh. So much money that I might buy a bitch. Hey. So much money that I feel kind of rich. Yeah. So much money that your bitch want to lick. Hey, talking about real pain. You uh-huh. slam me. Uh-huh. Talking about way past rich, like wealthy. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about nigga, I don't got to share it. Uh-huh. So much money, I'll pay another nigga to carry. Oh, yeah. so, so much, much money. money. We ain't talking about G's. I'm talking about so much money, everything we eat got cheese on. Oh. Already, even the spaghetti. Mm-hmm. I even might eat it with lettuce oh. on the side, make a salad. Sleep on a pallet. Mm. Say we the best like DJ Khaled. Ooh. I might hit my bitch with a mallet. Uh, and I don't never touch it, just grab I'm talking Ooh. about so paid hoes call me out of desperation. Uh-huh. And my ex girl say, can we get a separation? Ooh. I'm talking about so much money that I saved my generation. Uh-huh. And we don't ask white folks for no fucking reparations. Ooh, no, what about so much money? I eat a lot of Danish shit. Mm. Fuck that nigga. I'm talking speaking different languages. Yeah. I might say, you fucking peasant. Mm. <laughs> That's real. So much money, I got a big fucking seal. Oh, okay. So much money, money. like a coffee. So uh, even got a motherfucker. Ed Dolph. Oh, and his name is Luke. Mm. He listened to Uncle Luke. Yeah. I even hang with Doug Flute. I mean, Flutie. Even my girl got a big, pretty booty. Uh-huh. Lopes, that sounds preposterous. Uh-huh. Nigga, I got a pet. Walk a Russ and okay. her. I love you. Don't say right now. Look at what? I got some binoculars. Yeah. Okay. Since you talking, I'm good at math. I'm going to be like Michael Jackson buying me some llamas in a giraffe. Okay. Come over to my house and ride a nigga roller coaster. Oh, oh you got a roller coaster with all the rides? Yeah. Nigga, I got a llama and he chilling outside. Hey. Ain't gonna lie. That might as well, but ain't gonna lie. Y'all like business. High as hell. Yeah, hey, but so I got it. All my, my shit is on the power. That mean the sun is paying us for hours. <laughs> hey, guess what? We be taking money showers. Uh-huh. So much money, nigga, you can have hours. Yeah. So much money. So much money. <laughs> my girl named Get Jessica. <laughs> Didn't buy no tennis. She had breasts with her. Yeah. Oh. When she came, but I might change her name. Uh-huh. Cause she like to pop pills and do cane. Oh. Mm. So you much need, money. You need, you need to get out of here. Yeah. And that money, you it came off a of trip, bro. Yeah. Yeah. The dollars turn bitches into nymphos. Yeah. And you know that we is some rich Negroes. Yeah. And them dollars turn niggas into kinfolk. Niggas act like they
they see you when they been broke. Ooh. Niggas woke up with hugs and daps. Niggas are talking about robbing you and busting caps. Niggas talking so much money Ooh. on my mama's side. Like so much money, I got an elephant gun. Mm. So much money, man, I'm having some fun. I'm talking about so much money, it's like I own Bitcoin. Ooh. I'm track it far. Uh -huh. That bitch so heavy, my cousin hold the back part. Uh -huh. And then you gotta watch out for the recall. Uh -huh. Last time I bust that bitch, I dropped it out. Ooh, it fall. Oh, he and a baby. Dang. All across the forehead. Yeah. And the whole bitch was metal. I'm talking about mole. Mole. And when it fell, it fell off into pieces. Uh -huh. They thought it was a truck. Uh -huh. We made off recent pieces. Ooh. Ooh. You Man. still got it? Hold up. Hell no, I sell one. Sell. I just bought a real gun. Okay. Oh, I got a real gun, but I ain't no chump. This gun so big, I'm holding it, but the best in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Chick house, calling about booty. Uh -huh. My nigga sold me a gun, swear it was on Call of Duty. Ooh. That hoe was so long and pretty paws. But when they do it, these niggas be like, ooh, ha. Ooh. Throw up their hands, be like, ooh, long. Ooh. And I'll be like, doo, ba, ba, ooh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> That's a long night, ooh. yeah. Nigga might have to call in a drone strike. Damn. Oh. I caught that. <laughs> Let me rewind. I bought that. Yeah, y'all buying too many guns because you rush. I got that big shit. It's like I got it rush. Ooh, I had a motherfucker saying. with that little seat on it. <laughs> and you can lean back, prop up your feet on it. Back you ever seen? Mm. Big bigger back. than that. Big back. Bigger Middle than that. Middle back. Yeah. <laughs> the back so big it's got four middles. <laughs> I'm talking about four. Tic Tac Toe on the back. <laughs> bigger than the tub they baptized Shaq in. Shaq That's big. They said he was. Oh. I think they just threw water on him. Yeah, they. Just, they I think they, they hit him with a spray bottle one day. They hit that nigga with a spray bottle. They hit that nigga with a suit for real. They took that nigga with a spray bottle. Do you take Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I'm in there with Shamu and shit. Get in there. I see that nigga to a car. Walk on in there, motherfucker. Get your ass off. Get in there. You already know what you're doing. We already talking that shit like we always do, man. I don't even feel like it's a guest anymore. Yeah, we really got something to Come on, man. 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 Just the motherfucker to see. You had to, if you were doing comedy anywhere, because you, you do be there. No. Oh no, yeah, no. You got I'm to. I'm gonna some comedy. Come on, man. man. I thought you was talking about somebody else till you yeah, said my no, name. No, nigga, I'm talking about my dog. You know him and you love him. Black Run in the trunk. Come on, man. You know what? Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. 
What can I say? Or as, as, you, as you are known in France, Noir Ranal. You know what I'm talking about? As they call me in Spanish, El Negro. You don't fight up, my boy. Hey, man. Hey, my boy. I had to earn my spot to the trap. Who the hell you trail. think you is? You think you got that more technique, but yeah. This man here, man, he be posing on the camera and shit. I see you, my boy. Hey, man. I'm at the here, man. I'm like one of the disciples. Yeah. You hear me? Hey, I can't, I can't. Come on, man. Good news Jesus. around the good brothers. You Shalom, feel me? Bro. You feel me? Hey, they told me. A rising tide lifts all boats. In other words, nigga, y'all created a wave. It was a rising tide, nigga, and all the boats around you either rose or sank. And I just happened to be one of them little bitty canoes that rose up when y'all started taking off in that 85 South Show yacht, nigga. So shit, I had to earn my place to the trap, nigga. Bro, this is the 85 South Show. It is. And I'm, nigga, you ain't This is a show for real niggas. Yeah, yeah, it is. Come on, man. And it ain't a whole lot of those left. <sighs> Facts. I mean, we really been struggling since they took the Jeffersons off. Mm. Just to go ahead and keep it all the way up. Less is more. You think it's in the good time? I mean. They killed James. That was after. He was the last televised he real nigga. Good time was real. That nigga came in the house mad every night. You be bad too, you gotta come home to Florida every day. God damn, damn, damn don't do that, bro. Florida, no, don't do that. See, Florida. see, don't do that. Florida. See, Florida. you gotta realize, God is fine, my nigga. I didn't, it ain't got nothing to do with her looks. I was saying that Florida, she get on a nigga nerve. Every time James walk in the house. <laughs> 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 She always got to know where the money came yeah, from. Florida. Jay! Florida, you got the punk ass. I ain't gonna see it. They could have got out the hood 22 <laughs> times, but Florida ass. I can't uh, with her morals and her principles, bro. Sweet daddy could have got them out the hood. JJ could have got them out the hood six different times by yeah, himself. Okay, when JJ painted the picture of Black uh, Jesus, they, <laughs> they was out the hood. She wouldn't even have my pussy got them out the hood three separate times. And, and Florida was bad. She said it, but I didn't want to do it. Oh, never had that young pussy out in them. Y'all not about to do that. Corridor, bullet ball. Don't do that. Hey, hold on. Don't I do got this theory, and it fucked people up. That them was all. No, no, no. That nigga wasn't paying for that pussy. Who? Tell my, tell my, tell my. You talking about the African nigga? Yeah, remember that nigga? You been getting married? Oh, yeah. Tell my, tell my. The football nigga. The other African nigga. Talking about Keith. He fucked his nigga. She was bad. He fucked his nigga. She was bad. But I think his nigga was already fucked off because tripping over JJ shouldn't have told your whole ACL like that. You a whole ass liar. Nigga, you ain't been, you been skipping leg day. Dig this. If JJ, if JJ fucked up. If JJ was gonna play the NFL on church court, you been skipping leg day, nigga. They in the one bedroom in the door right there. This is the late 70s. Yeah. A lot of them NFL players had regular jobs throughout the week. Worked at the steel mill, right? Shit. Keith didn't do none of that. He was just light skinned. But this is gonna fuck y'all up. This is gonna fuck y'all up. I present, I like to offer this thought up. This thing, Thelma, was really Walona's daughter. And here's why. Why, nigga? I, I know where she was Florida, dog. That's a great thing. <laughs> Dig this. <laughs> Thelma was very theatrical. She could perform and shit. She always had a love for the arts and the flair. Walona could sing and shit and always used to talk about back when she was a singer and shit. I think Walona was a singer, singing background and shit, dancing, performing, fucked around and got pregnant. Couldn't take care of her baby. Her best friend, who she grew up with, Florida, said, hey, me and my husband James just had a baby. We'll take your baby in. Ain't no black person in America who just had a baby finna take somebody else's baby. Let me no, tell you why. Exactly how Let me tell you why. That's, that's, exact, that's exactly what black no, folks do. No, 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 no. They not finna take a new baby James. and this bitch live across the hall. No, she didn't this live James. across the hall. You don't go to your mama house. She didn't live across the hall. She was on the road. She was touring and shit. She was saying, but she didn't move around and that shit. When she got old and got fired for being Look, old, you can't aged out. She came she moved to Chicago, could bring her apartment right across the hallway so that she though. could be close to her baby, who she then had to raise from afar as Auntie Thelma. Dig this. I don't want to be always walked in the crib, never knocked. Who you know do that? You know back then, you know the locks were kind of cheap. Family, nigga. Who you know just bust the door in mid-conversation? Let me throw the mulligan in there. All them niggas. 
They never said that Walona was not Florida's sister. Or James' sister. Mm -hmm. They never said well, that. Walona, well, I mean, uh, they never said that part, but. Well, who but the fuck Jenny. was Penny? So well, who the fuck was Penny? Penny. 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 Penny was a little girl who lived upstairs. And was getting abused. And was by getting mama. abused. And Walona said she lost her original daughter, Thelma, always wanted to be a mama. So she started mothering with uh, Penny. Well, she could have you know been came over there. Dig yes. this, dig this, dig this, dig this. Dig this. When Florida married Carl, the atheist nigga, and retired down south, they never said where, they what? just moved the fuck away. Who raised Michael and Thelma? Wait a minute, she married an atheist? Well, Lona did. Yeah. She married an atheist? She yeah. married an atheist, nigga. Oh. Super Saved Ass Florida married Carl, the atheist, who ran the electronic shop that, that Michael started working at. This one ain't had no pants no more. This was when these niggas were a little too old to be. I don't know, man. This one's Michael started growing up. the mustache. This was, he yeah, was real okay. flamboyant. You couldn't tell him shit. <laughs> His pants was tight. <laughs> He was singing his ass off in that basement. <laughs> when you're young. <laughs> hey, Bernie Mac did that joke one time, <laughs> bro. I was ass off in that basement, man. Over <laughs> <laughs> that fundraiser. Y'all don't, don't respect none of the ghetto legends. <laughs> Fuck Bookman. That nigga was a user. Somebody should have whooped Penny Mama ass, too. And any hood, she would have got her ass. She would have got her ass right after that fur burn. <laughs> Come here, bitch. She burnt that bitch with an iron. Ain't nobody never did that in the hood. No mama. Like, Not no no mama. iron. Well, you can actually see the burn. No. Now, you done seen nigga get whooped stitch cut and shit. You be like, let me see the scar. You like, damn. I'm seeing you for real. You know shit, see the scar. Got the stitch cut scar on my back to oh, this day. Oh, stitch cut for real. And you better not say nothing. Yeah, that hoe like 22, 23 years old. I always want to call the police on my people who got hit with stitch cut. I be like, bro, I do it, bro. Shit. Yeah. Shoot this my mama yeah. told me I'll call the police. They got to get here. Ooh. Yeah, the police. The police. You told the police? No, nah, cause we can't. I went to a good school, so I came home like, Mama, they said you can't beat on me. I can't call the no, number. She was like, I never know. I mean, my problem. Like, she hey, she called out the number before Ooh. I could get it out. She was like, Yeah, you can call them whenever you get ready, but they gotta get here. Well, I mean, my oh, your mama said I mean, you gotta get to the phone. He, he can't. He no, can't she never threatened me to get to, to make it to the phone. She was like, In the meet, while they on their way here, I'm gonna be. Dog walking your ass. I'm gonna stomp a mud hole in you. <laughs> now my mama favorite shit to say, I'll stomp a mud hole in you. And I was like, what the fuck is a mud hole? And Damn. I don't find out. It mean you shit on yourself. Yeah. Y'all yeah. gonna hit real You gonna do this on yourself. Y'all will abuse this child. <laughs> What's Not that me. The statute of limitations. The statute of limitations and passed up on. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember I was eight years old, my father came to school, buddy. Well, boy. You got whooped, what? like beat was, up. What, what? You ever got a good ass whooping? Yeah, oh, me? Yeah. yeah, I done got a good ass whooping. I, I ain't get no stitch cord now, but I done got a good ass whooping. Time. Time. I, 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 it I, was like right below stitch cord. That was an ass whooping, stitch cord. Your mama beat you like, like you was a nigga shit, no? I wonder if we was even related, like blood related. It made me question my whole genealogy. I can't be related to these motherfuckers. You got you, she, she, That's how bad? She fit for you. I don't even, it was so bad, I just remember what waking up. What she would be with? He just, I just remember waking I don't up. remember getting out of bed or nothing. That was the yeah. best sleep. You got your ass I'm talking about ass whooping sleep. Oh, See, my right. mom got old, so she'd forget she had to whoop my ass. I'd be like, yes! You might get an ass whooping combination. That shit, you didn't even know she had a combo for you. But she remember she had to whoop my ass. That, that, and I, like, oh. I might get an ass whooping two weeks later for some shit I did two weeks ago. And she remember, like, yeah, hey, she like, plus I owe you an hey, ass whooping. I be like, what you talking about? Man, what? Ass whooping from two weeks ago. My daughter ass whooping was old. so bad what? one time, yeah, I was yeah, like, you see that shit in her head. She like, who broke this? I did like, that shit two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> She remembered today. Oh, you got your last ass with me. Lose. <laughs> that is crazy. 12, 12 or 13. How old were you got your last ass with me? Last. Last ass with me. The for real? All I know was my tooth got knocked out, so. Well, okay. Now, now I ain't gonna say ass with me like just a belt. When, when the last time your parents you put their hands it. on you? How but you gotta keep it mad. I knocked, I knocked my own tooth out. You start getting punched on I knocked my own shit out, trying yeah, to get away from I the whooping. was 12 or 13. I was high step. I had probably had about two, three thousand ass whoopings. Right. I grew up deep in the ass whooping community. Man, yeah, me too. Yeah, I was one of them kids get an ass whooping, finish doing what I was doing to get an ass whooping. I was very determined. Yeah, I got I got two whoopers in the same day for two different two things hours. one time. 
It's about 12. Yeah. No, no. The for real one, I think I want to say when I was in the second grade when I got my first time getting suspended. When She's, you got that ad beat. Yeah. Suspended? I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you a naked ad with Ooh. Naked. Like, I never got one of them slang women. Naked lane, not I never got one of them slang women. What? Dealing, left, right, left, right. Wah -wah. My mom and dad will leave that you keep your drawers on. Me when I'm naked. But my mama would say, I'm seven. I, I, my, get this out my clothes. Georgia. My clothes ain't dead shit. I ain't finna whoop my clothes. What? Get out my goddamn clothes. <laughs> you got hitting me? <laughs> I'm not about to laugh at child abuse. Hell no, nah, boy. You might have a permanent disfigurement. Oh, nah, we straight in there. But I'm just saying. It's nigga. That lady crazy. And they wonder why I'm crazy. I'm yeah, yeah. Tired. You got a butt naked ass whooping like that. Boy, I had a butt naked. I ran up and down the house. My mom was old. She be like, boy, <laughs> you gonna get tired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait right here. And I was just getting tired. You got like, mm. Ain't no way to get out. I damn near don't walk to her to get the ass whooping. All right, come on. Man, yeah, that's some <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> shit. Hit me. <laughs> I ain't never about it soaking wet, sweaty. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I can't say that. That be the worst. That be the worst part after the ass whooping. When you can't control the cry. Yeah. I can't say I hit a butt nigga. I can't even cry. I'm just tired. I can't say I hit a butt nigga. 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 I can't say and you done got stumped the mud out of you. And you and done got a butt naked ass And you lost your tooth. Yeah. <laughs> we all fucked up in the yeah. head. Damn, Jay Wynn. Yeah. You don't got a butt naked ass You got the volume whooped out your head. You got a butt naked ass whooped. You got a butt naked ass whooped. You got a butt naked ass whooped. I have my drawers. Ah! You got my drawers on. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. He lied. No, you didn't. Twin nigga laughed because he ain't whooped. Yo. Yeah, I ain't got to walk in front of us because he's the oldest. I'm butt naked ass whooping. Hey, butt naked ass. Oh, get the freaky ass shit is that? Yeah, they were giving that butt naked ass whooping. Take the clothes off. Nah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Knock your ass down. You say pop, knock it down like a grown man. I didn't grow up in no house full of naked ass people. I can't say that. That shit brought to me. I did not. Because some people did. But today, man, I did not grow up in no house full of naked ass people. I'm going to take that shit off. We ain't seen none of us niggas. Nigga. I ain't seen nobody. Nigga. So that means you didn't got your ass in the tub before. Oh, no, I ain't never got whooped in the tub. When I got whooped that time, I knew to be sneaky. Mm. Anybody yeah. got whooped out they sleep? Yeah. Yeah, my mama whooped me woke one time. See, that could cause a, a seizure. Like, you don't even know you getting your ass whooped for the first five, six strokes. Like, but ain't no telling what a butt naked ass whooping the cause. Fuck <laughs> 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 around and call the king. Right. Now he's freaky. That's the only way he can get hard. Nah, I can only fuck with a belt on. <laughs> Baby, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm tripping time. Hey, man. <laughs> just choke. Just don't choke. Don't whoop my ass a little bit. <laughs> she hit me two times. Tell me, take that trash. <laughs> Tell me, you better not get suspended no more. We all right? <laughs> so we all can agree that butt naked ass whoopers is weird. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. I'm not so mad I can't wait for you to put no drawers on. Hell yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I got to hang you right now. Oh, you got your ass knocked out. Your mama stuck the mud hole in your hey, ass. And you got your tooth knocked out. Hey. Y'all ain't finna sit here and like, nigga, ass whooping that bottle and all that. I can't, I can't claim being knocked out. My mama ain't never knocked me out. I tell you that. She told me you gonna get this ass whooping woke. Fuck you. But you was conscious for your old butt naked ass whooping. Fuck it right. My mama ain't never stopped her foot on me either. No, she said I will stomp a mud hole in you. I never said I will. That's the figure of speech. Yeah, I never got to that point. Don't try to defend that. These butt naked ass whooping. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 That's are you whooping me? your kids? Oh, yeah. Don't I don't, answer I don't, that don't question. I do. Don't like, answer that. It's three strikes. I don't give a fuck. Can't nobody out there make me do shit. Fuck that. They don't whoop your kids. Hey, man. I'm just that shit. Well, kid. We don't. We have other means of discipline. Now. Man, I don't yell at my children. I don't know who do that. Man, I whooped my stop. daughter so much back, in, back when she was a little. Like, Sorry. 
but my child is obedient. It's not gonna so. sound right, however you say. So where now I don't even have to. Mm-hmm. Okay, who who judge? Like I ain't gave up whooping since she was like six years old. Like now I could just be like, hey man, don't make me whoop your ass. And she. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get the point where the thread is in there. Her thread is E goddamn up. Who raising your child? You or the man? Just right now. I ain't ready to nothing in my household. They ain't paying my bills. Yeah, they definitely can't be with Sir, you don't have to say everything. I don't say nothing. Man, life whoop your ass. <laughs> you don't say nothing. I'm letting you know that. Life child. whoop your ass. You don't everything pay your bills, don't guess what? Life said. gonna whoop your ass. I don't say You don't pay the law, guess what? They got somebody that's tasked to I'm whoop ass. my son with words. They heard me, fuck out shit. You heard me. Nigga, get married and then break up. Who get that, married? That judge finna whoop your ass in that courtroom. Y'all not about to steal out my Oh, yeah. Ass. What is that? Mm-hmm. What you looking for? He looking for a lighter that don't exist. You right. I'm high a little bit. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Throw me the blunt. Where's it going? This episode is sponsored in part by Ass Whoopers and that blue hair grease. Hey, damn, somebody over there rolling monkey fingers. Yeah, man. We're trying to live good. Man, I want one of them. I bet you do. <laughs> Black Run, talk to me. Tell them where you from, man. How you get started fucking with this, this comedy pimping and shit? Like? Man, I'm from Dallas, Texas, the Oak Cliff part. Ooh, mm. Oakland, man. The Oak Cliff, you know what I'm talking about? Better. Uh, man, yeah, I'm one of them. I'm one of them cats that's really from Dallas. Like, not not the outskirts, not the suburbs. We didn't relocate. No, nigga, I was born in Dallas County. I was lived, relived in Dallas County my entire formative years. Mo3, um, okay, huh? Yeah, well, Mo3 came up in McKinney, but came down to Dallas, and that's where he got all of his, you know what I'm saying, thugging and bugging in, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's a North Dallas boy. Hey, it's Clayton English. And are you tired of not knowing what to cook when you're stressed for time? HelloFresh can make ease the stress and make it simple for you. HelloFresh offers 10 to 20 minute meals, low prep recipes, and quick breakfast and lunches, perfect for your busy schedule. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need with customizable orders every week. You get fresh pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need. With 25 plus recipes to choose from each week, there's something for everyone to enjoy. I had the white cheddar Wonder Burgers and it was amazing. On top of that, I made it myself. All recipes are designed and tested by professional chefs and nutritional experts to ensure deliciousness and simplicity. So go to HelloFresh.com 85South14 and use code 85South14 for 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com 85South14. Rest in peace, Mo3. Rest in peace, Roy Lee. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, uh, my brother, Seller Money Johnson, you know what I'm saying? That was my partner, but blood could not have made us any closer. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my best friends. Like, that was my brother. Um, But yeah, man, came up in Dallas, started doing comedy in Dallas. I never thought I was going to do comedy for a living. Never thought I was going to tell jokes for a living. Ever. Who I was going to do? Nigga. We just talk, we just I thought I was gonna continue to, to, to sell drugs on the side while while selling counterfeit purses at this corporate job, call center job I was working while also sometimes cooking at nightclubs and shit because before doing comedy, I was a chef for five years and shit, oh, so. Oh, like yeah. Chef Paul Armbrou? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I went to school for it. So you like a chef Paul Armbrou? Like I can get died. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody, anybody house I never stayed in in comedy, and they'll tell your black run cook his ass off. Like, I feel like if, if you're gonna let me stay at your house and you got groceries, at least you let me do is cook. You got do you let think me black cook. people are the only people that add his ass off to make shit better? Or the shit out of If you do the shit out of something, you 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 did it to death. Yeah, yeah. But the only time you can't use that is when you when you eating booty. Right, man. No, I ate the shit out of that booty. Literally. <laughs> what? No, I'm not ate it out. No, yeah. no, literally. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what you did. You don't know how to eat booty. Yeah, no. If you know how to eat it right, you ate the shit out of that booty. No, you don't. You wanna play, you don't even give it that many looks, my boy. You tripping. He in there all night. He, he tripping. You go down there three times and say, hey, I seen you. No, if right. you say, I, well, then you I'm didn't. let him know. Well, well. Well, then you didn't do the shit out of it. He down there all night. 
ugly. Okay, so you if, a chick, like if, a, you, right? if a chick if a chick grab your meat <laughs> and, and hit you with three sucks, can she say she sucked the shit out of that dick? It, it depends on what else she did. Now he gonna move the goalpost. You can't say you ate the shit out that booty if all you gave it was a flim flam and shim in the bank. That's what you do. You don't go crazy, my boy. That's what you do. And when you do it, you do it the best. I don't just That's play with That's what y'all be aiming to do. No. He, he overthink the shit. He, that means you going down there mediocre in your head. Like, you can eat the shit out that pussy. Without even going stupid crazy. No, then if, you didn't, if you didn't go stupid crazy, you didn't eat the shit What's out that pussy. What's your stupid crazy? My stupid crazy may be two different definitions. If you made her go stupid crazy, then you did your job. It might don't take that long, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Say you gotta be down there 30 minutes. You, gotta, you can go stupid crazy from minute, from second one, like and go. Oh, stupid, right, stupid, 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 stupid. Like, crazy. Y'all be. It eat. ain't even go crazy. How long you eat pussy for? I eat pussy for as long as I want to. Yeah, that, that's for me. Yeah, sometimes, man, I, 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 I ain't pussy for a whole episode of Squid Game. He tripping. Just not too long ago. Hey, oh. No longer hit cheekbone all the way up here. What are you doing? <laughs> he was eating calamari. He was eating dump on lock. I went down there, it was 456 people in that warehouse. Yeah. Nigga, I came up here with 17 yeah. niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that crazy. You start eating the pussy on the part where they was licking the cookie. I start eating pussy on the part where he get slapped in the train station. Damn. That boy, now, you bitch. You worse than me, talking about me, my boy. Man, I eat coochie for me. I know, but you that's a long time. Because you ain't got to exert that much effort. And meanwhile, she done had six whole seizures. You said a whole episode of Squid Game, but that's a lot of killing. Yeah. <laughs> Long episode. Yeah. See, then you make it fun for you. So every time the lady be like, green light, red light. Now my next question is, why <laughs> did you eat that much pussy? Cause now she's sleepy. Man, she had that much. <laughs> that bitch sleepy. They both sleepy. She talking about you want to fuck? Uh, uh-uh, she is sleepy. They both sleepy. This nigga fool. He up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You ain't trying to fuck nothing like this. She is. You can't fuck her. on the full stomach. <laughs> Got to have way to do it, my boy. Nah, man. <laughs> Eat that coochie till she go damn near special ed on you, and then you stand up and be like, and now for the main event. Damn. She sleepy, my boy. Mm, she gonna wake up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't be asleep in my bed. Mm-mm. 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 Not in 2021. <laughs> Shit, no. Get your drowsy ass up, lady. <laughs> So even though a bed baby sleep, she can't sleep? Mm-mm, I'm going to cut on all lights, put on a pot of coffee. Fuck that. But you can't be asleep while we fucking. Mm-mm. You know, I'm going to cut all the lights on and put on a pot of coffee. Oh, shit, no. Mm-mm. Do they sleep while you fucking? That bitch needs some caffeine. You're doing something wrong. You're not doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> You're doing something wrong. <laughs> why y'all fucking? I'd much rather know I ain't getting no pussy so I could go to sleep. You hear me? Because I'm not. I'm past the point of my life where I'm gonna be up and like playing. I'm just gonna go straight to On sleep. a chance. I'm not gambling. Right, no. No I'm, late night gambling. That shit gotta be no 100%. Going going on, I'm going and to the crazy sleep. part about it, I'm All grown enough sleep. to accept that ain't no fucking going on. Baby, you trying to fuck up? Nah, I, I'm mm-hmm. grown enough to say Man, that shit first. Let me take these pads. Oh, hey, you okay. know what? Yeah. Fuck a woman up. I'm gonna go out and have a baby now. Fuck that. <laughs> Man, what, don't nothing fuck a woman up about going to sleep I'm before, train, she, before, before she thought you was going to ask for some coochie. I'm not asking for no coochie. <laughs> go to sleep while she in the tub. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Nah, that disrespectful, my boy. You said what? Go to the oh, he, he, he's oh, trying. When she, she, she go to get she ready? Got, you talking about when she go to get That's ready? That's what I'm saying. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> you sleep while she in the shower? You trying to. You like, fuck this shit. I'm trying no, to get I'm in there, my boy. No, y'all ain't have a long day, my nigga. Y'all ain't discuss no fucking. Y'all just ate dinner. She in the shower. Watch That's TV a lot of talking right now. And up. shit, and then she go take a bath, and you just knock off on her head. I'm not asking for no cooch. Cause we grown as fuck. You know I need some coochie. Hey, you better ask for coochie. It's 2021. I'm not. All right, all right. No, I'm so I'm not, that's coochie. what I'm saying. I'm not in the position <laughs> you that what? I have to ask I for am? no coochie. Huh? I'm not asking. Okay. I'm not out here seeking no coochie, so it's like there we go. I don't have to ask. So when you walk up on the grab away, she already know. They yeah, initiate. No, he, he. She gotta come and present it. She, like like a she Amazon know that package. I want some coochie. Right. And I done did everything to get some coochie. Right. Yeah. The last thing I'm gonna do is ask for some coochie. 
No, you got to do so steal So basically, you got to deny the coochie if you don't want it. I'm no, a steal What ass. I'm saying is, I, I, I have more endurance than the coochie. I will wait until coochie finds me. Like, hey, coochie, you know where I am. So, like I said, she initiated. But this ain't, I'm, I'm saying. I think I have a problem with that. What? I have to find it. You gotta find it. I gotta go search for it. I'm not looking for it. No I'm more. looking for who's looking for you. You still, but Lowe's like going. Harry Coochie, so he said Stop find it and he meant that shit. Bro, this is how my life has been, bro. The first half of my life, I was running after the Coochie full speed. Right. I'm talking about full speed. Right. Oh, no. Come here, Coochie. Coochie! Hey, hey, God, 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 God. God. You are not faster than me, Coochie! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, shoot, staying up late weekends, asking for coochie. Ridiculous what you doing, persona. Listening to all these bro? fucking dreams and shit that ain't gonna never happen. What you was doing? Building trust, being a good what nigga. What you was doing? Baby, holding oh, hands, telling secrets, for the day. expressing oh, emotions. Secrets. Now I'm at the point of my life where I'm like, go it. ahead, coochie. No, <laughs> I get up, Rich. Go ahead. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> I'm not even, man, fuck that, man. <laughs> and it's young niggas under me who still can run full speed. Go uh -huh. get that coochie. I'm 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 good. I'm good. I'm letting you know that as long as I've been running, coochie ain't took no break, coochie ain't drunk no water, coochie run like Forrest Gump. I'm telling him. I am no nigga. If coochie wants you to get it, it's gonna stand still. But coochie will stop if they want you to get it. Facts. Yeah. Coochie but like the road. If you run it fast for it, remember. That's Coochie over there that's running for diggly. Man, that's so a Coochie over there. So you have to look at the opposite side yeah. of the experience. And, yeah. and, and. Slow down sometimes. It might be, it might, it might be built as lapping another nigga. And if you slow down, she can catch up with you. You be like, where was you going? You, you know. already know the rule, chase the money. And them bitches gonna be chasing you. Fat. Hey. And money run a little bit faster than that coochie speed. Even mm -hmm. when you was a young nigga running full speed for coochie. Money in a car. If you really, if you really get money, you realize you can't even fuck. Money on money like you to. a V8. Money, money, money on a bullet train, my boy. I'm too big. And while we talking about I chase, never, I can never have a relationship with you, bitch. Let me I say some deep shit you. right quick. Go ahead. I, will see you I had an epiphany about two months ago. You know how everybody been saying, I'm chasing the bag, I'm chasing the bag, I'm chasing the bag. A bag of what? You better claim bag the whole. Candy, yeah, it's bag of candy, man. You better say candy. what it is. <laughs> to chase, I looked up the word to chase. It means to pursue relentlessly with reckless abandon. It means to, to, to continuously pursue. Mm -hmm. So if you chasing something, that means that that something, whatever it is, is continuously running away from you. Fact. So stop saying that you chasing the bag because that's saying that the bag, the Whatever that is, Ooh, yeah. is, is in continuous. That ain't your bag. Perpetual. <laughs> that ain't your bag. Invasion. Right, right. From Talk you. Shit. You chasing it's the perpetual, bag. Nigga, I get up all day chasing the bag. That means that money be running from you. Running from your ass. Talk your nigga, shit now. go get your bag. You hear me? Because what's for you is for you. The crazy part about it is right now. You got business. Pick it up. You chase some shit that ain't yours. I can't get this nigga bag. I, 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 I can't get this bag. I can't get the word, word bag. chase, bro. bro. I can't get my bag. I can't get your bag. Women be like, men love the thrill of the chase. It's no, for you. Y'all said that, women have said that shit for so long that niggas have adopted that psychology. So now niggas feel like you're supposed to chase a woman that is continuously evading you. Mm -mm. That shit used to be romantic. And, and that's what I was that's saying that's earlier. Right. That's why I'm not asking for no coochie. Don't yeah. ask for no coochie, no. I'm not I win. asking. Don't ask for no coochie, no. Because I win. I'm not asking for no coochie, no. I'm not asking. I'm not asking. I'm not asking. I'm not. Because I'm grown. It's fuck. I've been asking too long. I'm grown. It's fuck. I've been asking too long. Because I'm grown. It's fuck. And I've been asking too long since I was out here. Since I was out here. Since the first day that I came outside. I used to look at coochie like a prize. Hey. I used to have some coochie every day of the week. I couldn't even go to sleep if it wasn't no coochie next to me. Hey. Yeah. I was really just a junkie. Nah, about some junkie. pretty, some ugly, some funky. Hey, oh, hey. Some hang got the draw like a monkey. Some hey, scared hey. with that bone. Some really kind of chunky. Hey, I, hey. Hey. I used to be a flunky for some coochie. Hey, hey. Had me looking round, rocking around stupid. Hey, hey. I used to be eating for an episode. And then that bitch that made a whole episode about getting her coochie ate by multiple niggas. And I didn't feel like that because I'm a hell of a nigga. And I'm wondering, 
What the fuck does it mean? Who should be clean if she only stay as clean? I'm not a real team, I didn't get coochie. I'm her until the girl gave me the smooch. Ain't gonna lie, what you want? I pay for it. Fuck, bitch, you wanna ride out? Hey, fuck. No, hey, you already know. Hey, no, don't pay for it. Hey, no, don't pay for it. Hey, no, don't pay for it. I said, Besides, it be free, coochie everywhere, hey, my guy. Hey, it with a dick count. No, it came with a dick count. No, no, no. It came with a dick count. Hell no. Hell no. People need me. She was hungry. I took her y'all to Bicky D. Wait, wait. So you hit me for some nuggets? Hey, for some nuggets and I hit me for some nuggets. Hey, hey, hey. So you saying that the coochie in your budget? Hey. My budget, please. She wanna do it. Yeah. She yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Double cheese. Don't tell no lie. I don't know. You got a milkshake and a large fry. Mm. Mm. I want it off a of scratch off. And now I got a jack off because she got a. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fucking with this lady. This is right. how she get down. Right. She don't fuck with this. She may not never mention this other shit that bothers other people. Right. But when she say, don't do this. Yeah. It's not no necessarily <laughs> no right or wrong. This is what this is how I require. Right. You get what right. I'm saying? Right. So, right. so this was my next question. Could you fuck with a woman that was a rapper? She wasn't a good rapper. Like she sucked? She's terrible. Oh, but it, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We talking about like diamond, diamond, diamond. Wait a minute. You, wait a minute. you know what I do? I'm a real nigga. Is I she, just hire writers. Is she That's popping it. though? I feel like, do she, she have a she good has no chance? <laughs> she has no chance. She ain't calling no I can't do that because I'm in the music and I know how that shit go. I just get a writer. She don't sound clever. That's what all the female rappers are I get a writer. She ain't got no but. She ain't. No. I get a writer's my boy. But she trying. I get a writer's. I sit her ass down and get her ass on team Right. If she don't do good after the writers, I'm just talking about this specific situation. I ain't talking about no other female. No, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm talking about the girl you fucking with. You ask her I what get a she writer. do. I get her some writers. And she say I'm a rapper, but she is garbage. Mm. I get her some writers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell her, baby. She, baby, she that gotta ain't get good. that writers ASAP. That ain't good. I'm not paying for no writers. Good. I'm a writer some shit. Yeah. I'm just gonna be like rapping like this. I need this. I need this. I need this. <laughs> but if she can't, if she can't take no criticism, like no, this is my art. Like this is how, I, this is what I want to do. I don't need no. If she can't, I ain't paying for no shit. You ain't good. It ain't gonna blow, so it might blow tomorrow. Okay, never no way. All right, that bitch. All right, that bitch. She might look at you like, no, no, no. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I'll use all my power. Influence of everywhere that I done got in the game and all the DJs that I know personally, and they'll put it on they kill it or fin it, and we'll let the crowd decide. And if they kill that shit, and you ready to do it my way? I brought you the BCD. You know what I'm talking about, you writer? She would love to forget all about you. She go on the first interview. Yeah, my ex boyfriend was lame in here. Yeah, and then you said that, that was the title of my album. She gonna be a deal. I play him my song, he need like What if you tell her she suck and then she fuck around and blow? They gonna be an ad lip. Like Trinidad James, Trinidad James sucked until all go to everything was the song. Oh, he would get he would he was working until that song. She wouldn't have blew if you didn't leave. Sometimes that's what it takes. I'm telling you, he would work. He had like swear me. It take a minute for your shit to hit, man. Bro, that gotta take a minute. <laughs> he put it in that work. Up until that moment, it worked. Like, and he'll tell you himself, he wasn't taking rap seriously up until that moment. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. You always been trying to speak high level. Like, nah, that's my dog. You ain't gonna do my dog. <laughs> one good, one good. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm one of them niggas like, if you're going to be mad at me because I told the truth, you was already mad at me. Not that fact, but he did, he did have a little bit though. Now? Uh, uh, yeah, see, he just did a song he with, a uh, hit, though. he just did a song with Morris Day, and he, 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 he got down on that. He got down on that. He got down on that. So he, did he finally win you as a fan? Yeah, I've been a fan ever since I'll go everything, because when, when he did an interview, and he was like, I'm not a rapper, but... Now that I'm a rap star, I'm, so you I'm was mad start before he was. I wasn't mad at him, but I was, <laughs> you know, I, I was just like laughing at the buffoonery of it all. This nigga was walking down the street, shirt off, Versace shirt, red pants, very tight, that sold gold it. shoes. You had on some red pants first time I met you, my nigga. Yeah, no, but they wasn't very tight. Oh, so you be judging, motherfucker. You be doing the same shit. Nigga walk around with his Eddie Murphy pants, but he oh, can't walk well, around with his Eddie Murphy pants. Oh, my pants were salmon. They weren't very red. Salmon? That's pink. Yeah, salmon. Pink. That's, that's in between that's, that's, pink and red. That's almost, is it, yeah? That's red as pink, or pink as red, depending on how you look at it. He called it salmon, so I know they were high red. Pink is 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 red. You say they like you ain't got no red pants. They run with a pimp. What's his name? Pink you ain't got no red pants. I got some with some red stripes in it. You ain't got no pink pants. Hell no, nah, nigga. Who the fuck got pink pants? Fuck, I got pink pants in my closet just cause. For what occasion? Nigga, you got some of them. Breast cancer awareness. You got, you got some of them Beyonce and Jay-Z brunch outfits, nigga. I'm not picking the pink pants to go to Jay-Z brunch in. Be like, man, we finna go see Jay-Z? <laughs> Give me my pink pants. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't know where these motherfuckers I've been mean, waiting to pull the pink wrenches out, baby. We ain't gonna these pink motherfuckers. This is the day for the pink wrenches, baby. We ain't pink motherfuckers. They in the back. What do you mean you ain't taking them to the dry cleaner? They in the back. They in the box. Oh. In the safe. You came up from the generation where niggas don't crease their pants, huh? Hell yeah. On the side, you can't do them down the middle. If you do them down the middle, you ain't you ain't hip. If they still going down the middle, Yeah, I came, you came up them. in the generation where we creased our jeans. You remember that shit, Clayco? Yeah. 
Did y'all yeah. preach y'all jeans in Florida? I can't preach my jeans no, now, not like Florida. how y'all did in Texas, nigga. No. Y'all preach y'all jeans in Mississippi. Like hard. We, we preach that. Not stand how y'all know. And shit. Stay flow start. Stay, no. Come on, Lowe's. Start you like arching. Can y'all your pants st stand up oh, on the ground by itself? Don't fuck around. They used to. I don't do that shit no more because that shit ain't, ain't cool. But I'm going to tell you what MJG fucked the whole South up. No, when A Ball said. Heavy starch in my jeans with, some, uh, with the crease yeah. and some nights. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck the whole guy. I'm talking about guy. crease be sharp. You can cut yourself on the help. No cap. Razor blade crease, nigga. We used to be, nigga. Oh, we used to I wear so much bullshit. I still start my shit cheap and they get some Kool-Aid. And my favorite cup. Comb my hair, get my grill right so I can feel tight. Heavy starch in my jeans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I spray out mm -hmm. the door to my superb. Hard by the curb, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the sun got my cane. Mm -hmm. Good enough to eat, mm -hmm. you can tell by the way them girls act across the street. Mm -hmm. Hit the horn, but no stalling, keep balling. Four o'clock Sunday, I gotta hit them all in. Full of them green trees, hurry them so I can kiss my Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Condo spray, they need to take a few classes. Mm -hmm. I'm learning about my glasses. Mm -hmm. Pressure got me clean. Mm -hmm. I'm talking on the phone, tell the penny. Yeah, that's the way to do it, baby. Represent your home. Yeah, in my own. Nah, that's my fucking candy, see? Oh, fucking round, yes, huh? Oh, yeah. That's a beat I was playing in my head. Oh, okay. Them niggas got legendary shit. Uh, nah, I was broke as a motherfucker. My life at the end. <laughs> now, see, I know what that one is. Ain't got no ends to the end me. My job at Mickey D's was fucking me with no grease. I worked so fucking hard, but my ends, they never increase. I had my mm, fucking job. I had no job, nigga. <laughs> and they said, I quit my fucking job. I had no job, nigga. I gotta reinforce that. I gotta reinforce, I gotta reiterate. He said, I had no job, nigga, but you quit that hoe. <laughs> You have one, but you quit it. You quit it. Rap lyrics be going off, man. <laughs> hey, a lot of them songs and them lyrics didn't age well. Damn, baby. Yeah. A lot of those don't get into that. Age yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. We already had. Oh, yeah. damn sure yeah. did. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy, that shit, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He damn sure wow. did. JC did get in Dutch Hall of Fame. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Salute, yeah, it's about time he came to the trap, too. Come on, man. That's some real shit. Oh, yeah. It's about time y'all get Jay-Z. Matter of fact, Jay-Z, now that I've been here, Dame Dash, come to the trap. Facts. Work that shit out, man. Come on, man. Come talk that shit out, right? Ain't no way you can't smoke, Jay, not with them wicks in your head. Oh, y'all. You got them wicks. You got to smoke with them. Dame, I know you smoke now. You know what I'm saying? You smoking all papers, man. Y'all are integral in the hip hop community. I switch all the way to Rouse. We'll smoke Rouse. Come on, don't talk to me now, man. One fry, gotta be cold ahead. Let me get my sand. Bacon sit here, yeah, you know, I'm actually out. disappointed, Fly. We'll step out. Uh, I, thought, I just thought you were gonna make two peanut butter and jelly for your boy, like y'all always do. Damn, but you just ain't got no material. You need to come this, because they said, bro, you when that nigga make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know this shit finna be fine. Boy, because really, I'm finna get one of these Capri Suns out here just because I'm on the show, goddamn. Come on, man. I got to get a bone sign out there, bitch. I can't wait to see it. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I, I can't wait to sit and smoke the fattest blunt and just relive the moment. I can't wait. Oh, it's Friday. It's coming out. You need to hurry the fuck up. You don't even understand. Okay. I'm so anxious. I have never been anxious to watch an episode like I am ready to watch this episode. <laughs> I, I can't wait hey, it's to going sit down. my funky ass down. You know what it'd be a perfect <laughs> time wait. to bring up? Channel 85. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Shout out to everybody who got yeah, in here early. If you in there early like Shirley, you in there early like Shirley. Go get that app, y'all. Come on, man. Download that Streaming shit. Bullshit. We got a new stream. Hey, man, it's the No Cap app. Ain't that what you said? It's the only way you're going to catch the new no episode of uh, yeah. the Ghetto Legends. Hey, matter of fact, I need to get the app while I'm bugging. It's the only way you're going to catch the episodes of the Ghetto Legends tour. Do it. We supposed to have a password. Go to channel 85. I don't want to do no password. I want to buy this shit. Go to channel 85. I want these motherfuckers to be like, he, he ain't really mine. Yes, I am. I don't want no free nothing. I'm going to buy this shit, too. So I'll spend my own money. Everybody on it. Everybody got to get it. Channel 85.com. I'm going to do it right now. Channel 85. God. And it's also the cheapest and most affordable streaming service. Definitely is. Mm. You know some shit. Hey. Oh, and you can get it for $85 a year. That's only $85 a year. Channel 85. Channel 
Eight fifty a month. Eight fifty a month. Boy, we're prohibited. Restrictions apply. Yeah. China eighty five dot com. I remember when WWW used to be a big thing. Yeah, yeah you don't even got to say that. You got to put the WWW. You got to use the WWW. You got to put the WWW. You got to put the WWW. You got to put the WWW. Well, that's what you mean, true, you. But it was shit I, other I, than I, dot com. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. Yep. You was the only you one. You an <laughs> asshole. You gonna try wow. to single me out like we all wasn't looking up porn. Like we all didn't put viruses on our parents' that's computers. That's what taught us how to use computers. Absolutely. Porn taught us how to use computers. Hold on, yeah, I, saw, we had DVD, my. I saw porn from the chip in the cable box. Okay. Yeah. So where you got the chip in the cable box. And then, and then the when channels when the was 99 was and 98. And you get the 90, nobody, once you get to about 75, ain't no more channels. Right, so nobody shouldn't even be turning up there. You can turn like up there snow, and fucking snow, with your parents. Snow. They'll snatch the remote from where the fuck you go. Right, 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 right. You go back to where you going. Right. You don't watch that yeah, shit. Don't you get, don't but you we get getting everything in the free. Free. But we getting Luke's peep show free. Luke used to have a little freaky uh, show. Uh, they eating coochie. You know what I'm saying? Luke's See, because I was looking show, for black man, women and you were not seeing them. You were seeing hot body content some of the pay per view shit. Man, I had all that shit. You don't remember the box? We had to watch. Watch all the music videos, man, listen. And then later at night, they would play all the, when they would play Loop, Uncut. Listen. listen. You a nasty man. I remember when a Loop video we had was the considered soft porn, but you go back and watch a Loop video now, that shit lame as hell. Still okay. to this day, Loop is bad my hometown. Compared Luke, to what these kids out here doing these days, Luke, Luke is tame. In my hometown, everybody on stage was fucking. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how man, they said Loop. And Luke, you gotta come on this bitch. They he said they said this motherfucker had a boat with the radio signal out and like the water down there in Florida outside. So it was like international shit. So he could broadcast the song because they wouldn't play his shit Bro, on the radio. They banned Luke like Luke was the devil. Dope. And That's if you go heard. watch a Luke video now, that shit look like you watching Girls Gone Wild or hey, man. Oh, That's BET the Uncut or anything station. else that like is now. He didn't change his life now. He ain't gonna even want to talk about all the, sh the way he brought Coochie to the mainstream. What? He did. He was excited about it. That's what I loved about Luke. Luke be so oh. excited he can't get his own words out. Yeah, he like yeah. that motherfucker, you don't even know the word. Ain't nothing but so yeah. Hey, but you gotta remember in 94. You don't know them words. You in 94, you in Miami, and this is the first time a girl has ever popped her pussy in a handstand. And then she busts it down in a split. <laughs> and bop, bop, bop. You don't even know what to say. You, uh, 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 uh. you know what that means. Do the word! Do the word! <laughs> what is that one? Kati coming. Kati coming. What did he make? Hey, this nigga it's shouting like out niggas that didn't exist. Looking around the club. You got to keep in mind, he's shouting out random people that the world don't even know. This? Go, Jerry! It's your birthday! Go, Jerry! Who, who the fuck is that? And he's getting in there like, go, Jerry! It's your birthday! No, this nigga shout out fictional people. This nigga said Santa Claus coming. Captain D coming. Verb coming. Trick. Come on, this nigga had ordered some food. This nigga had ordered some food. They had a whale in the club, nigga. This nigga had ordered some food. A whale in the club, nigga? Somebody said, what y'all want? He said, Captain D's. And then he was like, Luke, we home. He was like, Captain D coming. Santa Claus coming. Captain D coming. Who was Santa Claus with the nigga with the cocaine? He coming with the sack. Damn, Santa Claus And then just got through watching Free Willy at the hotel, so this nigga was like, Free Willy. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna tell you what I think he came from. What, what? Santa Claus? Somebody had that Which one are you talking about? Free I know what free will is. How's that? Six. You sound crazy. Screw the ground. Screw the ground. Screw the ground. Big booty hoes. Big booty hoes. Hoochie mama. Don't buy my booty mama. I ain't even gonna catch. I wanna see a real booty mama. Hoochie mama in the mid 90s. I think a hoochie mama better than a thot. If you know a thot, go look at her mama. She a hoochie mama. She a hoochie. I think I prefer a hoochie mama. Hoochie ain't nothing but a thot from the 90s. Give me the no. hoochie. Hoochie was loyal. Hoochies gave birth to thoughts. Hoochies yes, was loyal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, hoochie. Yeah. Hoochies, hoochies, hoochies got pregnant. Girls. Hoochies got pregnant <laughs> when Cash Money Records took over. When was that? The 9-9 nine, nine and the 2000. Nah, them on the hoochies. So, them was hoochies. hoochies. Them was hoochies. They mamas was hoochies. They, mom, no, they, they, they mamas, mamas was, was skeezers. 
Nah, skis is in the 70s, OG. Exactly. Hooch is like late 80s, early 90s. Exactly. So they got pregnant in the late 90s, early 2000s. So now they, they kids is 19, 20, 21, 22. Mm-hmm. Bro, it's been so many different breeds of hoes in these streets. Fact. And you remember Uwaps? I remember the Uwaps. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they were before Boppers. I remember Bobbles was out there. 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 Bobbles was out Oh, a yeah. yam? Oh, a little yam? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. Oh, you gotta have a little yeah. yam. I ain't hear yeah. about yam. Yams ain't sack chasers. You don't know about the yam? No, no, you don't know about the yam. He was a baby. Yeah. You don't know about the tramp, man. Yeah, I don't know about the yam. I don't know about the yam. You don't know no tramp. No, yam. A yam? You been hurt. They call yams. It's a tramp. They call yams. I'm gonna tell you, they call yams. Teenagers run away. But like you said, though. All of us too young. Didn't none of us get to fuck with no skeezers, though. No. Nah, if you fuck with a skeezer, you were molested. You ain't like Antoine Fisher. Yeah. yeah. You fuck with a yeah. yeah. You know what was out here? Skeezers. A hussy, a skeezer. A hussy. A Jezebel. A Jezebel, nigga. Nah, that's your granddaddy now. Your granddaddy <laughs> fucked out a Jezebel. Your granddaddy you knocked some Jezebels out. Your daddy knocked off some hussies. You, you hussy, you hussy. Hussies, home wreckers, tramps. What else they got? Your granddaddy yeah. knocked off some round heels. Now, home record yeah, was Yeah, round here. Home Imagine record. if your heels home were round. Keep quiet. It's easy to knock you down. So they used to call girls round heels when they home were ladies of the night. Home record wasn't my business. Street ball. Third yeah. Wife yeah. So well. yeah. Long as you treat it good. Selling pussy. Long as you treat it good. What's that? A home record don't mind if you sit around. No, no, a home record is the one that wanna fuck your house days. No, they, they, they used to claim them as the home record. Home record, like home, home record became no, a little This bitch already knew what y'all was doing. No, 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 the home record, that uh-huh. bitch, she was new about, uh-huh. but she wasn't in the mix. The home record is the bitch that insert they shit, that the home record show up. But you know, like, so don't call home, home record actually trying to break it all he's up. Coming, like, yeah, now, that that's the home crazy. record. Now, you got some home records, yeah. they be saying that home record that ain't really home record. Now, see, a lot of people don't know this, too. Well, I'm record right now. Shorty and shorty is two totally different Not nah, right. A shorty, shorty is your child. Shorty is, no. is, is old no. girl over there. Now, see, you, are, you mixing up the food up. Play that for me. Up. Yeah, go throw him that one. Great, that was a horrible pass. You see, he been trying to intercept the last three. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the smoking session. Oh, man. We got yeah. Clayton English. Yeah. Oh, man. This Come on, year, man. Black. Loaded. Black man. And we got John Wayne over there, man. 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 With the pimping, man. He playing that baby shower music today. I'm telling you, man. Y'all niggas sleeping. Hey, Jay Lee. Hey, Jay Lee. Play this and pimping, man. Play this and pimping, man. Jay Lee don't know how to ask this. He's been selling his beats. I see bubbles. I see, I see fishes, I it's see bubbles. We got some pimping on the way. <laughs> what did you see, DC? I see fishes and bubbles. Turn the pimping up. <laughs> I see bubble cuppies. Hey. <laughs> hey. Feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like I'm playing Donkey Kong in this bitch. <laughs> That's the uh, stage on Mario when you go in the water. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh huh. 85 South Show, you feel me? Yo, back again. Everybody who knows exactly what's wrong with their car. Getting dividends, fuck you and your friends, you dig? Talking about (laughs) Wilskus. Check the Wilskus. Come on. You a real nigga? If you ever fuck sisters. Yes. Real talk, I did. Show did. Talking about split it, split it, split it. Mm. Ooh, yeah. split it. Yeah. Ooh, get in. Yeah. No divide in, I'm hit in. Ooh. Fuck some sisters, man, that pussy in the family. Oh, okay. I wanna see if I can do that to see if it's familiar. Mm. Oh, I got to it. To fuck Ooh. both of Brenda's children. Both of her children. To see if they like Mildred, they ain't like grandma. <laughs> that's like grandma <laughs> too. That was my grandma too. Nasty. No, that's nasty. You can't fuck the whole family like that. No, I can't just fuck the whole family. You you said, if you get the sister, you, you gotta got just keep like, going to the high trip. Well, let me tell you about it. You know, Cause, cause I support keeping it in the family. Yeah, oh, well, now, 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 I ain't fuck two sisters. Mm-hmm. That sound like too much drama, bro. Uh-huh. I did fuck a bitch and her mama, though. Oh, no! 
It happened on two separate occasions, mm. in two separate cities, mm. on two separate days. It was amazing. Okay. Yeah. Like, nigga, let me tell you, I fucked the mama first. And then got on tour. They met the daughter. Ooh. And she was kind of thirsty. Ooh. And she was backstage. Uh -huh. And she was like, you were real good. Took her to the hotel and gave her real wood. Uh -huh. yeah. She called her mama. Uh -huh. Like, I fucked her coming. And her mama said, who? And she sent my picture. Ooh. And then the mama called me, said, you had fun last night? I said, what you talking about? She said, my daughter real tight. Damn. I said, that was your daughter? Damn. She said, I ain't say nothing. Uh -huh. I was like, cool for that. She was like, what's up, what? Mm. So you gave her a home? Yeah. <laughs> you gave her a home? Fucked again. Damn. No. So he paid for some. You paid for some. Cut it off. That's enough. Did he not say he paid, he paid for shit? You got paid for it. Man, he gave her a home. Black run. That's, we, we don't support that kind of shit. No. I no, you, 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 yes, you, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. did. I said she no, kept her home. No. You said you kept her home, and I said you gave her home, and you like, I gave her home. No. I put a lot that people like, hey, I gave her home. No. You go know when you gave a bit some money, you go down it up. He said, hey, I gave her home. That's enough. We had to cut it off. <laughs> no. No. Hell no. Flag on the plate. <laughs> you don't ever say up and down. I gave that nigga some money. No. I gave you all No. I gave you all No, boy, I thought you were talking about it. I said, you gave her all of it. I gave her all of it. And then gave, gave her the hundreds, <laughs> nigga. Like, I'm going to just go ahead and say it right now. Not no so monkeys. There's going to be no surprise, bro. They gonna pause this shit and they gonna roast the fuck out of you for crossing your legs like that. Oh, that's some film shit, man. And nigga laughed at that because he ain't had no real father. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good comeback. That's a nigga that laughing. Great comeback. Watching it crying. I had to think about it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> your daddy said like this when he didn't pay it all the bills. <laughs> Now, now, what's it about you, uh, no uh, teacher to call the house? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm You want to raise a great father. That nigga crazy. Never knew your real daddy. Well, that is... I don't even argue with niggas that never do their real daddy. They got a different outlook on life. That's fact. Like, them niggas have no respect for authority and shit. Yeah. That's a nigga that really can't see things straight. Nigga that grew up with, 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 without his real daddy. Especially if your mama had a lot of boyfriends. Damn. Oh, that's a nigga that's volatile. That's a nigga that allowed to shoot that bitch up. Don't say that. For real, that, that. that nigga just need a hug from his real daddy. That's all it be, he gonna cry too. Yeah, like he gonna break down. He gonna break down. Yeah. Soon as it's shoulder to shoulder, I don't know what that shoulder to shoulder do, but as soon as it's shoulder, it gonna activate. Nigga start hitting the bank, hit the bounce, nigga just in that hole. He do all that crying, then he gonna get a hug from his daddy. Smell all that liquor on his father, he gonna be like, fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did all this crying for nothing. This nigga drunk. Uh, Niggas be getting out the uh, middle of the tank and shit. That nigga done did 20 all years in the pen. He needed his real daddy. He hugged him one time. What's that crying, bro? That's all a nigga needed that whole time. OK, so are, are fathers allowed to call their son son after a certain amount of time? I feel like it should be like a certain amount of time. Like Call your son son as long as you his real daddy. Come on, I man. I mean, you can, but it like. A nigga that ain't your real daddy can't you call your son him. once you got that. your own child. I'm proud of him. I, I call him no son because I'm But proud. your real daddy can call you son as but long as he feel. your real daddy. They have feel. I don't, I don't fuck with them punk ass pussy ass niggas who can't be in their children life. Neither do I. I don't want, like, you just can't come back in your child life and be like, son. I mean, man, no. you got every right to be like, <laughs> I mean, bro. My name is John. Hey, bro. Your name is bro. Bro. And I'm gonna be standing right there like, yeah, call that nigga bruh, bruh. <laughs> See, now that's a yeah, nigga, that, man, that's a nigga man, that's man. been his father. That's not a nigga that's been his dad. I ain't been his father. What I'm saying is, you, you ain't, if you ain't been your kid's daddy, you can't call them son and You daughter. saying? No, I, I don't step in people's relationship with their parents. But what I'm saying is, I don't respect No, you can't, you can't come, come out of nowhere like, and call All right, them. let me be your father. All right, son, let me tell you. Like, get your hoe ass home. You talking about random niggas? Like, listen to me, son. Listen to me. Like, can they not make niggas? Like, how you say, I'm going to take your position. You nigga got back in your life now that you want. thinking like you can, this your son, you can just do that when you want to. And he thinking he going to respect you as his son. Like, my nigga, I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you in damn near 12 years. I'm going to say daddy. No. 
You ain't taught me shit. No, no, that's different. I'm talking about a nigga that's ever present in his children's life. Well, See, that's all, every one of them situations. Is... I don't hang out with niggas that, that ain't there for their kids. Well, you know what I'm I, I like to. I don't keep that kind of company. I like to be around real niggas that do real shit and at all times. We'll time. be surprised who those niggas are, though. Facts. Niggas be right up on you. You be acting like you taking care of your kids. I ain't seen they child. Eight years. Exactly. Well, tell you what, you know, I'm just having a son. Nigga, how business. you go months? Bro, hey, it, bro, during the height of the COVID, I couldn't see my daughter from her birthday until Father's Day. That was four months, four calendar months in a row. Yeah, time. That shit like to drove me crazy, bro. I would call her mama. But it's just like going you on said. Phone, cussing, though, going crazy, all that shit. Bitch, bitch I'll burn your house down. If you don't let me see my baby, bitch. <laughs> Girl, you say all the wrong shit. That nigga crazy. You talking about me, motherfucker? I ain't say shit. Yeah, he crazy. He crazy. I ain't say that. <laughs> I mean, I ain't do the shit. She know I ain't gonna do that shit. <laughs> yeah, you better. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be but the same. But see, even about like with us being on the road, like I know for a fact, like I make sure I, I check in every day. But I know it could be some time where you like, damn, I don't let the day go by. You like shit. So you like. You want to check in and shit and make sure that you there all the time. Yeah, but it, like you were saying earlier, all them niggas ain't even built right to be having no kids. A lot of people don't deserve to have children. That children are a gift, bro. That ain't your call again. No. You can't say that. No. Good like children are a gift. Children. children are a gift. And right. a lot of people don't deserve the gift that children are, bro. But see, this is the way God set it up. At some point, at, of their life before they leave, they gonna have to face that. They gonna have to. Yeah. And then, like you said, it's, it may it may or may not be too late in retrospect. That's on the child then. Well, yeah. and, you know, a child is on a child. That's why they call it a childhood, because it's a period in your life. If you can survive that, and you once you become childhood grown, and adulthood. Childhood's on the But even in your adulthood, you're going to always be <laughs> your own child. You're going to always be your daddy's child. See, long when you're little, but adulthood is forever. Childhood, like, Bro. Right, that's why you shouldn't be in a rush to be grown. That's what my granny used to we, tell me. Man, that shit didn't make no dog. sense when I was a kid. Like, what you mean, rush to get grown? I can't even rush. You can only live one day at a time, but I was really rushing to get grown. Nigga, I wish I could go back and be No, a kid. we were just rushing to do what we wanted to do. Right. That's how the world We really wasn't rushing and putting no responsibilities on it. Hell no, we just rushing to do what we wanted to do. I want to go outside. First, you ain't grown. Part, well, I need to be grown now. Yeah, because they made being grown sound like everything. Like, you go your ass to bed. I can't. You when you get grown, grown you get your grown. own house. You can stay up late as you want to. Get the fuck out of my refrigerator. When you I get grown, you eat what you want to eat. Yes. Get the fuck off my phone. You get grown, no you stay on the phone Christmas, all night long. You ain't grown. You want to. Need to be grown. That's crazy. Our parents all hit the same shit, though. No fact. Like they all was on code. They were like, this is what we gonna tell these little niggas. I brought you in this world. If they say that, you say this. Yeah. Nigga, they had a black dad coach. They was sending me back and forth. Every time I said, oh, I'll be my dad. Man, call that nigga, man. I think sometimes when they used to leave the house, they wasn't going to the club. They were going to the Man, come get your ass. Nigga, fuck you talking about? They were going to see the parents, my nigga. They weren't even going to the club sometimes. Me and your mama will be back. Now, we left food in the stove. Don't y'all answer this door. Don't you answer my fucking phone for nobody. We'll be back in a little bit. They were going to parenting meetings. Yeah. They were sitting around and sharing stories. Now, you tell her what happened. Well, mine stood up and told me, why won't you just let me live my own fucking life they and make my own fucking me? mistakes? Mom? They were going to secret parenting meetings, bro, underground parenting meetings. That's why they all say the same shit. That's why they all say the same shit. Okay, raise your That's hand. That's what I said. Make the bomb spaghetti you ever yeah. had in your life. Lasagna My mom too. couldn't cook. She, she could cook. She could cook. But, but she couldn't cook, but she can make spaghetti. Nope. No. Your mom can make spaghetti. Nope. You better grab you one of them cinnamon swirls. <laughs> <laughs> what you was eating, bro? Cinnamon swirls? <laughs> what you was eating for dinner? <laughs> he can't swirl. <laughs> Enjoy John, man. I was taking two of them. I'm taking my roll, I'm unraveling it. John John. He lying, man. Don't believe this shit, Black Run. John John. Come on, man. That's what's dinner. I used to unravel it. No wonder. I used to unravel it. And I used to break them up into chips. Get it out. That's all right. I had pecan chip. It's all right. <laughs> uh, Y'all think I'm playing? <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, we do. It'd be two boxes of pecans, world. So your mom she, can't. Uh uh. She, my mama sit them in a in a perfect position where I can grab them. Don't bother her. I can just grab them. Yeah. For dinner. Whenever I need it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Whenever I needed a pecans, world. <laughs> My mom hungry. It's some squirrels. What's he doing? You got my mom hungry and we out of squirrels. I'm putting this out, man. We got some pink ass squirrels. So what would happen if we out of squirrels? We got some sausage patties in there if you want. If you want to put sausage some sausage patties in the in the in the in the So you ain't gonna put no sausage patty between the squirrels, make it like a squirrel nah, and sausage sandwich. Put the sausage patty in the bed, uh, in the bread and put and put the syrup on it. I created the Mac griddle. McDonald's sold me. <laughs> <laughs> I promise on everything, my boy. McDonald's, I created that Mac Griddle. So how you get the little syrup pieces <laughs> off in the bread? They saw nice. me. I used to take a hot cake and saucer with the extra sausage and dip my sausage in the syrup yeah. and put my pancake in between the sausage and make a sandwich. Yeah. Somebody saw me. <laughs> Stole that shit. And before I knew, I seen the Mac Griddle. I said, Mom, I make this <laughs> every day. <laughs> She said, you sure do. Bit you. Bit you for your idea. But bit me. Mad griddle, but. So for dinner, you would eat a sausage sandwich with syrup on it sometime or with the spin wheel for Absolutely. dessert. If, if my mama went and got McDonald's, we had a great week. That's crazy, bro, because everybody else mama can cook. That's crazy. Facts. That's why I like other people's food. So you was that kid that would come over there and just like linger around to <sighs> dinner time. Go crazy. Oh. Go crazy. You be like, my mama would have skinny in the head, three plates. My mama would have loved you. My mama would be like, eat some more. Eat again. Get some more, oh. baby. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you shut the light yeah, off. We looking at you uh. like, no, John, get the fuck out the guy. Let y'all shut up and let that baby eat. Yeah. My mama would have fucking loved you, boy. This nigga eat Nigga, I'm gonna look over in the middle of the night and woke your mama up. You'd have ate a it's cramp in your me. bag at my mama house. Can I have another plate? <laughs> Help yourself, baby. Not saying my mama starved me. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. My mama one of the ones who was appreciative. She make it out the can. She's all fundamental. She ain't put no seasoning on nothing. <laughs> she ain't no nothing. She'll make a whole feast. And it's just out the can. Rice, yams, salty gravy, <laughs> and other shit. And it's just out the can. What's the meat? No nothing. Sausage <laughs> patties. Yeah, she probably didn't even meat. she probably didn't put no vegetable oil and cook it. It was just just cooked out the can. It's just out the can. Can it got hot. It's heat just it hot. Up. It got heated up, and you better eat. You like this ain't this ain't what it's supposed to be. I can't get between them. <laughs> if I say no, I look on the preacher. You can't be ungrateful. You can't be ungrateful. You can't be ungrateful. Like, I can't not want to. You better not be but ungrateful. But I can't be ungrateful. You're going to go to bed hungry. I'm like, I got to. Boy, that's something I've never told my child. We're going to go to bed hungry. Oh, man. I just take it with me. I'm going to have some spin wheels. You see what I'm saying? I'll have some spin wheels, thanks. Frank, I want your mama made real good. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So she much shit, 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 man. Yeah, I done hated this nigga. I was like, Your mama's going down? Yeah, oh, gumbo, man, motherfucking bro. lasagna. Everything, man. She make dope lasagna. It's a whole she house just, full of light skin people just cooking their ass She just cook super good ass shit, man. Like, she'll put super some good. shit that you ain't even know was good. So you I ain't know like, yogurt. You I ain't know like yogurt. Like hundred, hundred, salad. hundred years of light skin people. Like, it's deeply ingrained in your soul. Y'all no. been cooking. Y'all no. been cooking since the plantation. No. <laughs> what was y'all doing? We was, was outside. We was outside. No, peaking. you wasn't outside. We nigga. was peaking. You <laughs> wasn't outside. What your people cook, nigga? This nigga worked oh, with horses. Oh, nigga. He couldn't wait somebody to ask him. <laughs> what your people cook? What? My people. This nigga, nigga Black Rock. <laughs> It was black small. First of all, I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest barbecue aficionado that I've ever met. Barnicianado. 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 That just means you like it a lot, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, like. So you just a pork man. You the only nigga no, that like me that eat much. Eat pork. That's the cold part. So I had to start cooking other things mm -hmm. to like, like I can make turkey wings. Then you take the flat of a turkey wing. But then you say you always cook at other people's houses. So we Dude. both was on the same <laughs> shit. The fuck you talking about? No, I need I'm talking about to now that I'm you grown. You cooking at somebody's spot. I'm talking about now that I'm hey, grown. we both spend the night. Now that I'm grown. But when people come to my house, you got to eat. The little black Rob was just cooking people's shit in their refrigerator. <laughs> they cook the pound of hamburger. I ain't getting them started. started. I ain't getting them started. Thanks for having I me over. I made it taste good. Y'all gonna sit down. I'll let you know when it's done. The meatloaf is almost done. I'm Leonardo. Oh, no, the pack.
Yeah. How y'all doing? I'm Ron. I came to help Clayton with his mask on work. I'll go ahead and get dinner started. Y'all wash y'all hands. Some of y'all wash y'all hands. Y'all ain't have no Rotel tomatoes, so. I had to dice up these that was in the refrigerator. I used some tomato paste. Yeah. That nigga, you stupid, bro. Nigga. Hell no. Oh. But my mama made yeah. sure that like, we were super fucking uh, efficient. Like, my mama was in the military. My daddy uh, came up in a very strict fucking household and shit. Like, my mama <laughs> made sure we could wash clothes, cook. I can sew. You can sew? Yeah. yeah. What you sew? That like, sweater? Not only can I mend, like, <laughs> patches and shit. Eight, five, no, that's knitted, nigga. <laughs> You don't sew a sweater, you knit the sweater. You got a little thing. He crochet. It's not so. All right, I was like, I'm with you. I did take you know, home in in ninth grade because it came it's with all a part of the family, though. And, a, and, and it was, yeah. Facts. Yeah, that's part of the black. That's 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 African. Facts. Hell yeah, yeah, that's 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 no, the I heritage. Know. Right. Hell yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, if, if anybody got a, a grandparent that's over seventy years old and they got quilts, it was crochet before the before the you're machine. Not throwing fucking quilts away. You're probably throwing away your family history. No cap, unless uh, they right. stink. Even if they stink. Them bitches hold good TV. You, you, know, you, know, you know how to get Unless the stink out of them? Unless that bitch leopard print. They no. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how to get the stink out of them? You know how to get the stink out of them? You soak them in some water with some vinegar, vinegar. and some 20 mule vinegar. team that's borax. 20 who? 20 mule team. I ain't even got the quilts no more. You soak that shit in some, in some white vinegar and some 20 mule team, and then you hang it outside and let the sun shine, cleaning the virus and purities. This is why our ancestors used to hang their laundry out on line. And that shit'll be so motherfucking fresh and so motherfucking clean and shit. Coming from smelling like outside? From, from smelling like outside, but it depends on where you stay In now. the sunshine. Now, if you live around <laughs> where they don't smell ash, like back here, you know, smell like shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> in the fuck out of that. Smell like pee again. You smell like pee again. You smell like pee again. And then you done did this for the motherfucker too long. You like, shit, I gotta go. This shirt long as fuck now. <laughs> Lincoln's got a bunch of family history, don't nobody want to Yeah, but them yeah, quilts, bro. Great Aunt Cheryl was sucking dick. That's some swab on that blanket. Yeah. <laughs> She screwed it on that one. She was wiping my phone. She got caught. But that, that was one way that, that our families used Your to pass the history along. Especially if, if slaves were being sold. If a slave was being sold, they would give them the quilt to take with them to the next plantation. You must got a quilt. You know, you know, Burberry don't fuck with us. You seen they uh they let that 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 dark skinned girl put that noose around her. That's why this ain't the real Burberry. It's almost, but they're gonna think it That's is. That's Burberry. That's the blueberry. But they gonna think it is. They were just the wonder berry. Yeah, I got this. I got it at Ross. <laughs> no, but I'm saying people gonna think that you with it worked though. Yeah. And they gonna it be worked. like, yeah. shit. It's just fashion. They ain't gonna do shit though. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do like Philip Hudson. Uh, I don't even know nothing about Burberry. Mm. I just did it because he hit with that little burgundy out there shirt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 What that P mean, right? Yeah, splash. This right here, this is jade. This is carved jade. So it has a couple of different figures and rooms carved into it. A little bit of our history from South America and from Mexico. Fact. That's African history also. So you know what I mean? Yeah. Tell you, our, our history is also in uh, Chinese and, and, and Eastern Asian history. Mm -hmm. Talk your talk. You look at the Buddha, that's a, that's a black woman with Bantu knots. Talk your talk. You know what I'm saying? And she was actually not the first Buddha. So if you look at the first person to teach Kung Fu to the Asian community, it, it's a man by the name of Bodhidharma, who looks just like Sherman Hemsley, on the Jeffersons. <laughs> he looks just like Hong and the Clown. Like that nigga off Tekken? Bodhidharma, he looks just like... He looks just like... He looks just like Boracho off Tekken, and that's who they used to call him, the drunken monk. That's what Boracho means in Spanish, the drunkard. Mm -hmm. So he was a black man. They go, they go, they go be on, they go check him. Fact checkers, check it out. You know, Ryan gonna come over here. Body check him out. Where you at, Ryan? Black man. Black him out. Check him out. The father of Kung Fu. They say he came from far parts unknown from the West, and in his travels to what is now known as China and and the lower part of Eastern Asia, he observed all of the animals and how they hunted and how they. Traverse through style. life. So that's how he had all those Without fighting it. styles, the monkey Brain style, mantis. the snake, the crane, the, the, the tiger, the praying mantis. Mm -hmm. All of these things are different predators. Mm -hmm. All these things are different hunters. All these things have mastered survival and dominating their environment. Right, right. So he amassed all of these different fighting skills while also 
being what people consider to be drunk. If you look at anybody who changed the course of history, they always related them to being either a drunkard or a dope fiend. Go look throughout history, and that includes Jesus Christ, that includes Fred Hampton, mm -hmm. that includes Huey P. Newton. They say that, Jesus, what they say? They Jesus say Jesus was, was a wine bibber. That's a drunkard. That's a nigga that like to drink. Discredit him. That's why they say he had eyes like fire. Cause he was drunk all the time. Yeah, then without these motherfuckers, you saw he had to be. Shit. I gotta save everybody. Shit. <laughs> all right, come on, man. Wake this nigga up, man. Get up. Walk on water, man. Come that was the one part nobody. Stick, that's that's, that's the one part nobody caught on in that Will Smith movie, Hancock, is that he was always drunk all the fucking time. Peter, Paul, y'all keep fighting, man. Y'all get them niggas, man. <laughs> Nobody caught, nobody caught how many hidden book ass gems was in that movie Hancock. Go back and watch it again with a blunt in your hand. He was a drunk ass man that saved the world. Nobody knew where the fuck he came from. And the only thing that made him weak was being around that white woman. One white woman. One white woman. Talk your talk. You done opened up that can now. You got to Hold spend on. it. Hold on, what'd you say? With that white Go woman. back and look at the movie Hancock. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, God. absolutely. Bible, boy, yeah, this nigga, like, up, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, do some shit. I ain't, I ain't read that one. Oh, well, there yeah. are several tales of niggas that gave their lives up for a white woman in the Bible. For real. Samson and Delilah was, enough, was one of those How stories. How far book that is? I'm, I'm in Genesis. I'm reading the whole book of Genesis. Oh, uh, I right? believe the story of Samson is in Genesis. That's the beginning. If it's not in Genesis, then it's, it's uh, either right. first or second Kings. It's gotta be That's the beginning, king. beginning, yeah. the Old Testament. Yeah, that Old Testament. I'm reading okay. the Torah right now. Yeah. That's the first yeah. five books. Yeah. Moses. Read, read the story of Samson and read the story of Del uh, Delilah. You uh, said what? Judges. It's in, it's in Judges. It's in Judges. How you know? Then you just Googled it? Well, you don't, don't, don't be saying it live because they hear your voice. So they know it's you. <laughs> he be trying to say it. He on Google. He on Google. <laughs> Thought that came from the head. <laughs> I know this one. I know this one. Judges. I'm like, damn, don't nobody just say judges. Like, you actually got to read to know they came from judges. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Samson, no. Samson was... Talk your talk, black Samson man. Was, now you talking. Samson on. was a black man. Mm-hmm. And he gave it like... With an afro. Samson was a black... He didn't have an afro. He had locks. He had locks. Samson had locks. Okay. They say Samson was so goddamn big and tall... He was more spans than any regular man. Mm -hmm. They used to measure a nigga by hand span. So a nigga, <laughs> if a nigga was five hands tall, then he was like one, two, three, four, but that's how they would measure a human being and shit. So Samson was big, broad, strong, muscular, could slay a whole hundred niggas that was armed by himself with the jawbone of a donkey. He, 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 a he that kind of nigga, he a giant, and he mm -hmm. vicious with it. Right. Or some shit. But he had a predilection for this little pretty bitch named Delilah. <laughs> he was a Nephilim? Yeah, probably. Delilah came from the land of the Philistines, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Fact check me on that, I may be wrong. Mm hmm You said Samson, right? But seven right. different times, Delilah tried Samson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Samson, what make you weak? Pillow talking, after they were fucked. They would go, go on these little walks along the promenade and get drunk on mm -hmm. mead and honey berry and, Put that and drink. make mead <laughs> and honey berry and right, right. Make, make love under the stars along the riverbanks. And while laying his head in her lap, she would ask him, Samson, what makes you weak? And he'd be like, oh, I can't tell you that, baby. And she'd be like, well, if you love me, right. you'll bear your soul and tell me your weakness and you'll tell me what make you weak. And so a couple of times he lied and he was like, oh, well, shit, if, if I'm sleep and I'm dead sleep and you tie me up, <laughs> With seven brand new vines. They got to be fresh as fuck from the east side of the Chattahoochee River. If you tie me up real good, I'll be so weak I can't do shit. Right. So she put the pussy on him, get him drunk, pass him out, wait till he good and drunk out of her sleep, tie him up with fresh branches and shit. And then sick a whole bunch of niggas on him and say, Samson, Samson, the Philistines coming. And he stand up, ah, bust up out them hoes, kill all 30, 40 of them niggas and shit. And be like, damn, bitch, why would you even play me like that? But I still love you. Mm. And he was still still away at night and keep coming to seeing this bitch for seven different times until she finally got tired of it and said, I ain't gonna give you no more pussy mm -hmm. if you don't tell me what make you weak. And he said, well, fuck it, baby. If you really want to know the truth, you cut my hair off and I'm out of there. But the nigga didn't see that she was trying to kill him. That pussy had you so blind. Name a nigga that was, that, that saw when a bitch was meant him no good. You name a nigga to this day. That was deep. The coldest nigga, the strongest nigga, the baddest nigga, all them niggas is in the penitentiary right now behind pussy. 
Damn. That's in jail? I gotta read that tonight. Yeah, name one need, name a trap nigga that as soon as he meet the bitch in his dreams, he take her right to the trap, show her the safe, show her where he keep the dope, where he hide the pistols, all that shit. He trust this bitch with his whole fucking life. Don't even know if she the police or not. Cut his whole dreads off, nigga lost his life. He nigga lost his Every nigga lay in his lay in the bitch lap and give up his deepest, darkest secret. Nah, <laughs> nah, that. He sounds Why would you do that? Bitch, you never know me for real. Because no man is an island unto himself alone. I don't know me. Man what is meant to be bitch. with a woman. Yeah, but bitch. It's your rib. That's your know. most vulnerable part. And we fighting, Clayton, and I punch you right here where your other rib is supposed to be. Fight is over. So what happened when she Woman was made from your most dread, vulnerable though. part, dog. That's why women will always, always be our most vulnerable part. But well, why would you she tell dread, her? Though. So she cut all his dreads off. Yeah. Then brought an army of 100 niggas in. And he couldn't do it. And woke him up. And he was the weakest nigga when he woke up out of sleep. Two niggas subdued him. Damn. So then they locked him up. They blinded him. Pulled his eyes out of his head. Hmm. Whooped him, beat him, and kept him in prison for seven years. But in that seven years, guess what? His hair started growing back. They fucked around and let his hair grow back all the way real strong. So he asked one nigga that was working in the prison one day, hey man, one day I just want you to open the prison and sneak me out that motherfucker. And I just want you to pull me to where the pillars stand that hold up the building. And he waited good to the whole warden and everybody, all the army and everything, that people that had him in prison was holding a big feast and a big old festival. And everybody was in from all around town and all that shit. And Cuz snuck him in blind, weak, battered, but just strong enough to prop itself up in between the two pillars that held up the whole fucking building and he got all his strength and pushed the whole motherfucking building down and killed everybody in that bitch, including himself. Mm. His last noble act. Because he told God, God, if you give me a little bit of my strength back, I'll make good on it. Even if it mean killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes niggas give up everything and then be like, well, God damn, God, if you let me get on one more time, I'll look out for the community. I'll do something good for some people. I take care of my kids. But it shouldn't take you being blinded and stripped of all your power. Right, right, right. It shouldn't take you being in prison. Mm -hmm. You should learn from another nigga mistakes sometimes. Mm -hmm. right? But that right. pussy keep you blind, cuz. Well, that's because you eating it for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you get blind, my boy. That be hey, but they say keep your enemies closer, goddamn. I'll be trying to see. I'll be going there trying to see. Look at these pastors. Look, all right, you want to know? What is this in this place? Look at these $20, man. <laughs> Nah, I taste it wrong enough. Maybe that's real. Nah, that was the best though. I never gotta go home and read Judges. Which one? Judges? Any two judges? Nah, Judges come right for Ruth. Judge Matthew. I know. It's right after Joshua. It's right in between Joshua and Ruth. And two judges. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Do them all. Joshua, hit them all. Judges, Ruth. Okay. Hit them all. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Then it's 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st mm -hmm. and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles. Then it's Ezra, mm -hmm. Nehemiah, Joseph, no. I can't tell you. Ezra, Nehemiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations. Sound right. Keep going. Psalms, Proverbs, Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep Come going. On. And then you get into your Nahum, Habakkuk. There you go. Then you get into your... Nehemiah, then Malachi. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to Nehemiah, long. Hezekiah, Malachi. Right across the end. You can get to what you call it. I yet? missed a couple of them. Yeah. Isaiah, that's one that's right before Jeremiah. Well, I know you ain't Isaiah, say oh. Jeremiah. I know you ain't say Corinthians. You ain't say Corinthians me. is in the New Testament. First or second. <laughs> Corinthians is in the New, is in the New Testament. What the other one is? Oh, oh, he, that's he, in, he that's in the New Testament. Hebrews is in the New Testament. I know, but I was waiting for you to get to Hebrew. Mm. Oh, Song of Solomon. I oh, said uh, that. It's a lot of like 53. I said that. I said right Song of Solomon, you know, nigga. You did good, Bye. Bobby. You did good. No, you, did good. No, you did good. I ain't gonna let him jump on you like that. You did great. You did great. You, 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 you already know. I thought you, yeah. You I didn't do. expect nothing left. That's why I said it. Yeah. I, I, like, Genesis, I, got, right? I got them first <laughs> order up, uh, nigga. All uh, right. You like what? You know Genesis. Genesis. Nintendo. That's right. PlayStation. I had a sucker. You know what I'm saying? I had a sucker. Dreamcast. Ain't nobody said shit about Revelation. That's the last one. It's the last one. Nah, Actually, it's not. It's just the last one that the Canonical Society approved. Fact. 
Do you like? Ain't nobody bring family? up the book of Enoch. Come on, definitely. Right. Right. That's in the Old right. Testament. As <laughs> is the book of wisdom. As is the book of Keep going. Uh, the Nephilim. Right. Uh, there, there are like thirteen books from the Old Testament that are missing, and the the, the part of the Bible in between Malachi oh, and they Matthew. Ain't they know exactly what is what's are. known as the Dark Ages. Mm, talk to you. Said which one now? The part of the Bible where it says Amen uh-huh. when Malachi ends, and then in Matthew, and it came to pass. That part in between that page flip right. in history is what's known as the Dark Ages. You gotta have a tough skin to read that Bible. Now. So what happened in the Dark Ages is niggas was running shit. It was dark. Nigga, niggas was running. Fuck the message. Niggas, niggas had been running shit. Tell them uncut. Niggas had been the running dark shit. Dark Ages. Niggas, niggas had, came back. Niggas took had over. Niggas had went shit. across the world and came back. It was like niggas had this been, been running shit. But there were two major this. wars. There were two major wars that took place. One of them in the 700s. One of them in the late 1400s. The one that took place in the late 1400s. Is the one that took place in what's now known as Spain. And that's when we, dark-skinned black men, mm-hmm. were known as the Moors. And we ran all that shit. Talk to them. And we had all those castles and we gave them all that culture. Mm-hmm. So then the Castiles, which is one part of the family, along with the what are now known European Spaniards, all bound together and had a war against the Moors. And it started in the late 1480s, and it ended in 1491. In 1492, they took some of their spoils of war and gave it to a drunk-ass nigga by the name of Chris, who said he was finna go find the new world and ended up lost in South America, where he started raping and killing and murdering and taking little children and shit. And coughing on people and shit. Mm-hmm. And they call him Columbus. Mm. But that's another story. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. During that war, mm-hmm. they took over what is now known as the Bible. And they started stripping shit out that motherfucker. Because mm-hmm. they wanted that, they needed that. That because was the only way to control the world. So everything that they couldn't take with them mm-hmm. and alter, they destroyed. Mm-hmm. Go look at the Sphinx, it's destroyed. Go look at a lot of the walls that are inside a lot of the pyramids and caves and caverns, they all destroyed. All the ancient texts, they only got a half of it and that piece is burnt because that's all that they could carry with them because everything else was destroyed. But when they got back and started decoding that shit, they realized that half of what they destroyed was the other half of the story. It's the story of God. You go back and look at the story of God, it has been reiterated, translated, and transmorphed and transfigured Mm -hmm. into every dominant society. So you trace the Bible back through time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if we got here first, like they say we did, it mm-hmm. means we knew God first. So that means if we want to understand God, why not go to the place that is older than your Bible? Let's start with the pyramids. Mm-hmm. Your Bible ain't but a few thousand years old. Your pyramid is at least 7,000. That's if you carbon date the dirt on the outside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why not go there? Mm-hmm. That's the path I'm on. That's another story. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the shit that they couldn't find, that they had destroyed, they didn't know what to do. And that's called the Dark Ages. Mm-hmm. Now during the Dark Ages, the civilization that we had established in Europe started to deteriorate. Mm-hmm. They started to get sick because they didn't have any alchemy. They didn't oh, understand God. the sciences. <clears throat> they didn't understand chemistry. They didn't understand how to heal disease. Mm-hmm. And a little bitty flea beat a rat. And the rat bit a dog, and the dog shit it in the house, because they kept animals in their house. Black plague. And that house led, and that, that shit attracted flies, and those flies bit people. And they developed a plague, a bubonic plague. It was called the Black Death. And it killed everybody, so much so that they developed a nursery rhyme called Ring Around the Rosie about it. It was the first pandemic. Mm-hmm. Ring Around the Rosie. Break it down. Ring Around the Rosie. Pocket full of pose. So you start to develop red circles around your eyes, and that's the first symptom that you have the bubonic plague. Well, as and a white you person, stink. you start getting bruising all around your fucking eyes and shit. That's the first symptom. Then your body starts you to develop stink. necrosis. In other words, you stink. So they start keeping potpourri in their pockets and shit, a pocket Hoses, full flowers. of posies. Then your skin start getting all flaky and ashy. You develop leprosy, ashes, ashes, and then one day, they all fall down. Dead. No, the ashes is because they burn your body. They well, no, 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 no. Your skin is ashen, ashen first. So then, then they so many people, they down. all fell down. So many people died at the same time. They had to just start digging mass graves and burying people by the hundreds mm-hmm. in big ass fucking and holes. Halloween? And this was during the Dark Ages. Go look at the, 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 the damn near fall of European society. Yeah. Mm. 
So guess what saved the European bloodline? What? A little dose of black blood. Same thing that saved the Asian bloodline. Break it down. The Asian bloodline had, had so much <clears throat> mutated DNA in it that they all look the same. They all look the same, bro. I thought I'd be Shut the fuck My bad. Oh. So back in the day, what? I'm learning, I'm learning. My, my, so what? back in the day, Asians used to be called Mongols. Mutated. Before they were called Chinese, Japanese, Taiwan, they were called Mongols. Right. The people that dominated Eastern Europe and, and, and what's now known as Southeast Asia were the Huns. They were Mongolian, which is why when you go to an Asian restaurant, it's called a Mongolian restaurant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the Mongols, back then, there was a lot of inbreeding, a lot of people from the same family having a whole lot of kids together and shit, a whole lot of that shit caused a lot of mutations within their own culture, within right. their own DNA. Right. It only got healed with a little bit of black blood, the grand purifier, because we have that alpha gene, but we'll talk about that later. But when you take some of somebody else's DNA in order to cleanse it with your own, you take it and you pass along. So in our path along the world, everybody we touch, we took a little bit of that tainted DNA with us. It's now known as Down syndrome, or clinically and medically, mongoloidism. Mm -hmm. And if you look at any baby, no matter what race they are, they all got Down syndrome, they all look the same. They all look like little bitty Asian people. Thin hair, short black hair. Those, no. Thin eyes. Mm -hmm. Mouths that splay out. These are all the features. There are only four physical archetypes. These views are Caucasoid, reflective of black rind and black rind Mongoloid. Mm -hmm. There's only four races on this planet. <laughs> You're, you're, you're a derivative of one of them, or a mixture of all of them, <laughs> on a genetic level. Mm -hmm. So people with Down syndrome have mongoloidism, clinically. Mm -hmm. And I ain't speaking no ill on nobody that's saying that like that. I'm just talking about the history of who this we are as black now. folks and how our blackness has touched every little bitty piece of culture throughout this whole fucking world. And if you just go back and just follow the footsteps and just pick up the breadcrumbs of everything that black people have done that is so dope, it will make a grand picture of the whole fucking world. That's why you can love all people, because there's a little bit of black in every goddamn body. Right, right, right. And if I can't love nothing about you, I can love that little black part. Right. But what about the folk that ain't got nothing? Like, you know, the one that turned. They got it. Most of the people that think they're white now have black people in their ancestry because they were passing. A lot of white people that were alive in the South were alive because they were nursing every day from a wet nurse. That was a black woman. That means you and have nanny, sustenance, and nanny. and nanny was breastfeeding you mm -hmm. from her titties. Mm -hmm. That means you have black DNA in your body, my boy. Mm -hmm. Did somebody just fall? They did. Somebody put it on her. They tried to be silent. I tried to talk to her, but that wrong, wrong, wrong got Wrong, wrong got Steve. Somebody leaned over for something and then I got to break the tension in the room, I did. Nah. That good knowledge, though. Well, this is good, good weed, boy, because I said I wasn't going to be deep. I said I was going to come on here and bullshit and shoot the Jamie Fade, but... But you know it had to come out. Had had to come so out. you touched your African thing, they were like, <laughs> speak for us. <laughs> what I need for everybody to know is a little black in everybody. <laughs> Hey, bro, on some real shit, though. Medallion, though. You got a medallion, you know. He touched it. It went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I done told you in our, in our private you know, talks, our private talk. conversations, but to see it on the show is a beautiful thing. It started about a year and a half ago. Y'all can go track me, fact checkers. You start talking about gentrification and neighborhood appreciation and shit about how black people can live in the projects, but white people would live in a, a housing development or something like that, right, you know and what I'm saying? Look good. And, and it's, it's the same, it's the same, it's it's the same thing, but, 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 but it's the perspective in which, you know what I'm saying, somebody else don't own it, but it's, it's mine. Right. And black people don't have the, but it's mine attachment to it. So shit gets degraded and it gets torn down and ran down and looked down upon. 
And that's when I was like, oh shit, this nigga been reading. Mel's and then you came on the show one time with a stack of books, boy. Yeah. I was talking about like you were fresh from Head Price or fresh from the library. Like reading them things too. And I was like, oh. Reading them things too. Yeah. Cause you know, Lowe's been over here just secretly saying shit. Since ain't been over here just quiet. He read. He read. He'll, he'll get a piece of paper on a piece and sit back and say some shit like, you ever wonder? No, he read. Why carburetors? Only got the fuse box on the left side. No, man, we well, no always, but he read. We always exchanging some knowledge on this month. So we do. Cause we gotta know who we walking among. Nah, that shit dope, bro. It's dope. It's dope. Let niggas know that this podcast is, is for niggas that that's getting better day by day. My boy. Every day. Yeah, man. This podcast is for niggas who are already good. Great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be an emotional old nigga. You are. Like, when I get old, I'm gonna be like emotionally like me. Like, I didn't really want to do that. Yeah, you didn't start gonna, crying in movies yet? You gonna start having fun. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I think that's probably the biggest challenge for me, to be scared, bruh, because I'm so, ugh. Now I can do everything else, but like, be nervous. Yeah. I think that's probably like a biggest challenge for me to be, bruh, that goofy. You ever seen me nervous? <laughs> like, that shit funny in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> what makes you vulnerable? You sound like that white woman. That's what I was about to say. This is what I'm saying. You didn't learn nothing. I heard. I learned from the story. I won't tell you. <laughs> now everything ain't to be said. I told you. Now, the older I get, bro, the more of a father I am, the more I cry at tender moments and shit, bro. I be like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'll be watching some. You get soccer, you got children. You got children? I got a daughter. Yeah, she's 10. Oh. Shout out to my daughter, Lonnie. Hell yeah. Well, been doing Hell yeah. Because well, you ain't supposed doing... to watch this, but I know you're going to watch it. Shout out to my daughter, Lonnie, man. Hell yeah, that's my baby. But oh, um, don't let me watch anything that involves a black father like trying to get his thing together for his cry. kids or a cry, nigga baby, don't get to see his man. Shit, that, like shit father, me, father, man. that shit gonna tell me. That shit gonna have me and that's gonna be walking up on fathers when you see him in public. Anytime I see good. a black man doing his thing with his kids, I just walk up to him like, I you see gotta, you, black you man. You gotta stop, man. Amen. I see you, black man. Amen. Make a nigga nervous. No, it don't. Niggas always be like. Yeah, yeah. Niggas that walk up to you and be like, hey, bro, huh? You doing great, black man. You be like, what the fuck wrong with you, man? I'm with my child, man. What the fuck wrong with him, and man? And you doing great. My nerves are already bad. My nerves are already bad. You think you I need to know good. Hey, where? I see you with that baby. Come with me. Come with me. <laughs> I see you with that baby. You doing good. Uh, that was yeah. one of the things let me know, bro. I, that's like, that's one of the best things I've ever done. What? Was make that child right there, bro. That's like something like See, that what? I really got right. What, make a child? Making that baby right there. That, that, that little girl right there in particular, bro, like, that is one thing that I did right. I know that. Facts. I know for a fact. Like, anything else I might fuck up along the way, I might go down in history as the greatest nigga to ever fuck it all up. But when it comes to one thing I did right, you had your business. That little girl right there. All right, my boy. We proud of you for being a great father, my boy. Yeah, yeah man. You know what I'm saying? We need more of that. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking your talk, bro. Yeah, you got to, man. What you got coming up? Man, I got, first of all, shout out to my man Kev on stage. Man, you look hard. Kev, go to stage. Kevin up on the stage. Come on, uh, man. Hit me up and say, Black Run. I want you to come out to LA, man, and tape the Keep Your Distance Christmas special. Come on. Yep. You gonna Don't be on this special? Not only Silver that, man. Bells. He got Holiday. me close. He got me closing that thing out. Yep. His special? His, yeah, his, Christmas, his special. Christmas special. Keep your Amongst a who's who of comedians, bro. I'm talking about. You got cast like K Dub. You got cast like Ronnie Jordan. Tyler Chronicles, Kelly Kells, Ty Davis, oh, Kamal the Secret Genius. I'm talking about the list, to hear more, the list go on and on and on, bro. Like, you got so many heavy fucking hitters. Like, you love to see it. You love to see it, bro, especially from a dude that was like, you know what? Fuck waiting on an opportunity to come that may never come or may come too late. I'll make a way for me. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, he, he turned that. around yeah. and was like, and then I'll make a way for those that fuck with me. Got saluted. And that man gives with his whole heart, bro, like from an honest and genuine place. And he just want black folks to win. You better yeah. not start crying. No, I, I ain't gonna cry. He started thinking about getting a car. 
I'm about to thought he's a great father. <laughs> No, I said when niggas don't get to see their kids and shit, when they get to work their way back uh, to the kids, he, he sees his That was your chance to show your range. That was, that was <laughs> it, right? <brother. laughs> Father! Father! <laughs> Why well, you always on the roof? And I just know, uh, I just know somewhere, somehow. Oh, man. Why well, you always on the roof? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing more, man. That was, that was a touching moment. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, That's beyond textbook. That was good. Ain't no movie never made you cry fly? Um, man. I don't know. Nah, 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 Forrest nah. Gump. Nah. This nigga with these deep ass personal questions. Yeah, nah. <laughs> ain't no movie never made you fly. Yeah, ain't no movie never made you cry. Ain't no movie never made you cry. What makes you tender? What makes you tender hearted? Ain't no movie never made you cry. Delilah. He's Delilah, ain't it? I'm gonna try seven times. I'm gonna fucking give you. And nigga say, of course, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him. Clay Cole. You need to watch the color purple all the way through. And a new movie made me cry. If I take mushrooms, you want to know? I'm gonna cry. I cry. Happy as shit. Any movie? I'm scared. Mushrooms. What? Okay, in certain scenes. In certain scenes, they get me every time. Yeah, she got a Finding Dory? Okay. Right. I said, oh, she no, we got a brain problem. We got a brain problem. And she can't find she a can't way. She can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. I can't remember. I was done. Finding Dory, crazy. once you realize yeah. it's about man, hey, man, just because somebody ain't. You know, they, cool. they, they, they ain't all the way there. That don't Imagine the don't only person you could depend on right. wasn't all the way there. I've been there before. Which I brings me to another movie about movies somebody that ain't all the way there. Radio. Did I cry when they shut Radio, tell that ass up. Oh, man. That nigga shit. What? Real nigga shit. Real nigga shit. Real nigga shit. I cried. Threw that bitch in the gear. That's the name of the movie, real nigga shit. Set that bitch up. No, she was the sitting in that bitch and shit. No, you said when he when he shot Queen T and set it off. Oh hell yeah. Go I'm missing you. I wanna That was that nigga. Da 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 my son will bury me. I thought y'all some real niggas. His voice started breaking. Ain't nobody said Antoine Fisher yet. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get y'all soft ass on, yeah. man. Yeah. Nigga. nigga. You know why every nigga here said said whoa? You know why every nigga here said whoa? Because black men head. don't talk about the time we got molested by that older woman. Ooh, what the hell wrong Ooh. with you, man? <laughs> What's wrong with your past, man? Every nigga in here thought you he was doing something special butt. when that older girl touched you on your wee wee. You nigga, need therapy, my butt. You was molested, my butt. You need therapy, my butt. You was molested, my butt. My butt, you need to talk to somebody, my butt. This hurt the couch, my butt. Nigga shaking their head like, nah, I was just a player. No, that you weren't. Hey, that boy put his butt cheeks in the couch and said, ooh, I need to tell y'all everything. I must tell y'all everything. You were 13, she was 19, you was a victim, my boy. That boy said, I must tell y'all everything. <laughs> when I was 13. Yeah, yeah. you was seven. She so was a little. You was a bitch, my boy. That <laughs> boy, that hurt. That was my play cousin. That was my mama friend. That was your oh, son. Oh, coming out now. She's still alive. She watching this shit like, cut it off. <laughs> cut this shit off. Cut this shit off. I know him. Hey, don't you know him? No, I thought I did. Cut that off. No, bro. It's niggas that were 18, fucked a 30 year old woman, thought they were doing something cool. No, bro. That's not, that's not you, that at that age. You a victim, my boy. 18? 18? You know what Surviving girl. Gladys. You better come out with your own. <laughs> I'm gonna be over there just like this. Okay. Yeah. I chose not to show my face. Oh, yeah, on my face down. It was good. I don't know what they talking about. Next episode. Mick Gladys. I've been here. I chose not to Everybody show my face on camera. <laughs> I too was with Miss Ernestine, but that's, that's all I can say. Yeah. She didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't do nothing. Get those fucking yeah. cameras out of Get those goddamn yeah. cameras out of yeah. On the next, he's surviving Ernestine. <laughs> we caught up with one of Ernestine's earliest victims. Nigga gonna be sitting over there eating some of my peach cobbler. Man, that lady ain't did nothing. <laughs>
So tell me, sir, why do you only eat peach cobbler with no instruments? So you had dessert to eat peach cobbler? Uh, then you wouldn't know nothing about that. Well, how did she serve it to you, sir? How did she serve it to you, sir? Gumless. Gumless. I call her gummy. <laughs> That shit crazy. I can't even imagine that shit. Hopefully what? I experience that when I'm an old man. Oh, what, well, getting one of them velveteen rubs? Yeah. That's what they call it. When you get head with a woman who you try to get some amber sauce. Oh, you ain't never little, had that? Nah. Little yeah. numb numb. Boy, you ain't had that? Shit, yeah. With no teeth? Oh, no. Feel like a fish. Huh? <laughs> Tell Vasco. <laughs> Tell Vasco. Tell us how you got how some color with you know a fish feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that way. Sushi game, sushi game. Hey, man. I just buy a whole sushi game. I just buy a whole fish. Okay. No, I need them live. I need them in the pot. I need them whole fish. I'm going to say this. Oh, shit. No, that's crazy, bro. But his, his movie's like Forrest Gump that'll get me. You still crying? Goddamn me. Oh, Bring my head. Like, put another one in. That yeah. was good. When that nigga say, see, I see him. Don't turn the light out, boss. And that, when that nigga putting the hood over here, don't turn the light out, boss. All right, you starting to lose me. Now your movie's getting a little, this nigga said, Gremlins 2. Yeah. Gremlins 2? didn't say Gremlins 2. He said, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> no, nigga, movies like, movie, 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 like, movie, 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 like for sure the happiness. Players Club, when Dollar Bill went to jail. Nigga, pursuit of happiness didn't make you cry. You talking about when he was in the bathroom? Exactly, nigga. That you know, I was in the movie watching other niggas cry. Like, look at this nigga crying over there, man. <laughs> hey, bro, if you don't cry, go, you, have you watched it since you became a father? Yes. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Go back and watch it since you didn't I have. Apart. He put his leg on the dope and he didn't want the nigga to come in. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't remember. Though, that nigga was like, boy, you don't get your ass up. <laughs> Somebody shit on themselves that, that night. Like, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> that boy had me weak. I'm gonna shit on myself. That nigga saw him like, Daddy, you gonna let him come in here? That boy had me weak, and the part when that nigga got the job, he was walking no, down the he street, he, he couldn't that contain did himself, tears, he was bro. so fucking happy, and tears. he was clapping stupid and shit, holding his mouth, tears. nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid, mama. It got tears. <laughs> nigga, hey, hey. Gave that nigga laugh Hey, shout out to More Than Culture. <clears throat> it's not just a brand, it's a show. Um, I was on the Morning Culture show, man, chilling with them boys, and that nigga running Jordan said that part. He said, uh, uh, <laughs> he said, man, that nigga said, give me seven for the cab. And he gave that nigga that ten, and he, he was out of there for three days. He couldn't, couldn't eat lunch. He, it's it. It's a wrap, nigga. Peanut butter jelly time for the next four, five days, nigga. You peanut butter and The part everywhere. that made me cry the hardest is when, is when that nigga wife was leaving. And all he could say was, well, go be happy then, mother. Go be happy, nigga. Like, like, nigga. She's doing that, my boy. She is doing that. Like, she is being happy. You can, you can believe that, <laughs> nigga. Nigga, you know that nigga said Jada four times on accident on set. Just to cry. Bro, we have it, Jada. Cut, cut. <laughs> well, no. Well, you did it again. No, did I say Jada? Keep out. You did. Uh, her you name did. is Paula. Damn it. Reset. You stupid, bro. Uh, <laughs> you stupid, bro. That shit, though. That nigga. Oh, shit. Boy, cry. Boy, me cry. That boy, Tinder. That boy be crying off anything. I don't be crying off anything. He go bro. back to watch movies just to see if it make him cry. He be like, I want to see if this one gonna get me. Man, no, it's just like it's like little shit, bro. You just watch Transformers. <laughs> when he when he transferred your life off of a brain. He be sitting at the house half full. You stupid, hey man. Hey, hey man, why y'all think ET won't call home, bro? <laughs> Why you doing no. E.T. won't <laughs> call me folk, bro? Real nigga shit, as a comic book nerd, as a comic book nerd, when that nigga Thanos <laughs> snapped the whole fucking world away, I was like, oh, cuz, not like this. What about this. Star Wars, when my boy was doing that, that <laughs> you ain't, you ain't nah, crying like that. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they weapons was dangerous, but they didn't sound dangerous. I hated that nigga. The lightsaber sound goofy as hell. You hit a nigga one time, cut all that off. That shit gone like a hoe. That radiation that got them messed with skin. You hit a nigga one time, all that shit cut out. 
I'm but you gonna cut yourself too, fucking around. Right. Trying, to, yeah, yeah. trying to get nice with it. Like, how you practice with that? How you get I nice? Told you, I told you not to. You try to put that bitch on like it's a cuff. <laughs> You remember Cub? Like you want to hit the boy and his shit come out on both sides and his shit was in a deeper tone. His shit was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why the other nigga ain't want one. He like, wow. I'm straight. <laughs> he like, you want one? <laughs> That nigga got on my nerve, bro. You know how bad you got to be beefing with a motherfucker to fly to another galaxy to fight him? On, 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 on a boat, on a boat they go when they go past, nigga. But then, it, but then it's, I ain't no, all them niggas had like alien head. It wasn't nobody regular on that bitch, was it? It was some regular people. No, the only regular be, person was the lady, but they two was blowing up the planets, nigga. Nah, that was total recall. I but couldn't get that nigga if you travel over six galaxies, what the fuck you think a nigga gonna look like, nigga? You going to a galaxy that's far, far no away. Oxygen on this planet, they need them fucking gills on their neck. They don't even know how far that was. That hoe was just far, far. How far? Far, far. God. They ain't never know where they were going. Two far, more far, galaxies, it's the same as Earth, but everybody eat dog food, nigga. Are <laughs> oh, you talking about like some alternate reality shit? That what that was. Like where everybody walk on their hands? Yeah. I couldn't do it. Mm-mm. Niggas ain't got no knees and shit. That's everybody right. fuck back to back. And niggas say, mm-mm. Mm-mm. That sound like a freak party. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you, you go in a room, it's a motherfucker back to back, just <laughs> going at each other. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, man, I gotta go. <laughs> what if you, I, I, I mean, he really working it. You got me fucked up. Oh, no, man, y'all know some other shit. You give me them back shots. Everybody in this bitch way too high. Definitely. No, bro, they got different places, bro. Like, y'all remember the movie Avatar? Hell no. Nah. Where motherfuckers were fucked by you hooking their hair up. You need a job. Stop watching movies. <laughs> you know about, you know, they you know this fuck, bro. You know that that's uh, at least two hours. Go back and watch Jesus Judge man. Dredd or was it Demolition <laughs> Man when motherfuckers put on VR goggles and fuck. The same uh, shit they sell now with video games in them. How you go from hey, talking man. about Sylvester Long the and the white lady put them hoes on to have sex, man. He too high. He done talked about the Lila and went from. Yeah. As soon as he started hitting that back wood, he got too high. Yeah. Man, I'm, trying, real hey, I'm trying to tell you, you bro. Black run. You a freaky man. They, 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 take, <laughs> they take all of everybody walking They take all our stories oh, and they hide them in comic books. <laughs> eating dogs. And, and, and sci-fi movies. You overthinking a lot of this shit, man. I'm telling you. No, Iron Man is, is the story of Oak Boom. There you go. For all right. Beach. Nigga think everything is conspiracy. <laughs> Chef Boy ID was a black man. His name Boy ID Bradford. He was like something. No, his name was Artie. His name was Artie. White people call all black men Boy. His name was Boy Artie. They called him Chef Boy Artie. What if everybody was on all four and eat dog food? Wait, at least it's for the music. And white people were still serving bland dog food and white and black people were seasoning there. Stupid, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, man. I'm not gonna do it. Stupid shit. Wait, talk. They got me just for the beef. You stupid. Hey, man. We in this bitch way too high. I tried to stop him before you got this high. I told you. You shouldn't have stopped him. Sorry, you asked me what else I got coming up. All that uh, shit. See how it just popped back in? Yeah, because yeah, we was talking. We, I got went off on a tangent, and then we started talking about movies and shit. <laughs> I got a line of dog food coming out. <laughs> it's called Alternate Dimension. <laughs> it's it made for dogs, but it tastes good enough for you. Three years, you ain't freaky. You ain't freaky, man. man you gonna find a lot of DVDs? DVDs? He gonna like, what's up, these DVDs, Black Rock? Three million dollars, bro. So, also, <laughs> coming up. He said all fools ain't dog food. Uh, I think it's funny here. Uh, I'm finna start yeah, dropping my website, bro. I'm finna start dropping major <laughs> shit on my website, unapologeticallyblack.com, B-L-A-Q. Um, I'm also, uh, Doing the show called Black Runs Black Power Hour. It, it's a, it's a, it's a. <laughs> we talk we talk about everything from dog food to, <laughs> to different ways. Of you know that going, you know going that. <laughs> no, I talk about all kind of shit. 
I'm talking about all kind of shit. I'm talking about uh, eating, eating habits, healthy shit. We talk about sports. We talk about politics. We talk about romance. We talk about gossip. We talk about everything. What's wrong with this man? Black runs, black power. Wow. Oh, this boy is retarded. He's stupid. Oh, shit. I ain't mean to say retarded. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's your album. Huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. But anyway, that's Black Rose Black Power Hour. Available on Instagram Live and YouTube. Uh, Follow me on both of those channels for more details. As you can see, it's a screen. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the show had you hot. Oh, man. Hey, man, oh, what's oh, boy. Somebody check on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> hey, you said black power. Black power. Hey, you know what's going on, bitch. Hey, yeah. You need to check on all your kids, folks. They get black power. Don't see why he laughing so hard. That's oh, Black Rose, Black Pow Wow. Available oh. on a digital format near you. Your friend says so she's going to see Black Pow Wow. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call DC, him. What the fuck? It's like a TED Talk, but for me. Check up on your friend. Where you going, girl? She going to Black Pow Wow. <laughs> Oh, shit. That's B L A Q. B L A. If you hunt your whole your whole, whole shoulders when you say it, you remember it. B L A Q R O N. Bro, boy, you funny. Bro, it's fuck, man. Fuck, my boy. My boy, crazy. You ain't gonna be a guest on the Black Power. Hell, I don't want to be Black Power. Oh, no pause, Black Power. You ain't gonna come bring some power to the house. <laughs> I don't even know how that invitation came to my house. <laughs> Resend to sender. Resend to sender. You know how you put the mailbox Clayco. thing back up like that? Clayco did actually did it. Send that motherfucker back. Clayco did actually did an episode or two of, of the Power Hour. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ooh, what? Don't pull me in. I don't want no pull on the black power. Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah. Shout out to the weed man. He really doing his Ooh. thing. Okay? Man. We getting ready to black run. My boy Cowboy. You fucking Don't kid, let bro. this be the last time you come to the track. It can't be. Come back. It can't be, man. I just, 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 you know, I'm going My nigga. nigga, I need some air. Nigga. I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> Different people eating dog food. <laughs> but, man, the phone never came. Are you here? Are you here? Black power. 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 Black power.